Alright then, let's get, yeah, let's get started with some more Elden Ring. Let's grab my controller here. Um, I've done a little bit of running around. Um, around the uh, Kaylee area a bit. And I think I found a key up to the four belfries. I'm gonna check that out probably after I hopefully finish taking down the boss or if I need a break. Um oh, right, the game just crashed last time, right. I was running around. Uh I also was running around Rail Lucaria and like lakes a bit. And I think there might be a part of the rail the academy that I haven't been in yet. Because, as far as I can tell, there's nothing... You, I haven't been in this area right here. And I ha I'm not sure how I'm going to get there. This is pretty much like you come in here. Along this, on this way here. Start out here. And you follow this and you end up inside the church of Cuckoo after a little while. And then you go like down into like an underground section. You pop up, the, pop back up over here, and like just keep going up here and up to the up to the end, right? But I can't remember having having ever actually gotten over here, and there's also no. It wasn't just no uh, grace or anything over there. So I'm kind of curious what's if that's if I just. Like a path I just never took, or something like that. I'll have a look at that later on. Um, oh, I want to try. Uh, I think this is the one. Uh, so I have looked up and gotten a couple of hints on the Melania fight. I think it's she's called Melania. Um, Uh, so I'm having some hopes that it might that I might have to have a little bit of a better time today. Uh, including one of the things that I was informed of. So I complained about how, for some weird fucked up reason, you couldn't do. You couldn't summon in the second phase of the Millennia, fi Millennia fight, which felt weird. It felt off, and I have been informed by Scorf, and I mentioned that. That apparently the problem isn't that you can't summon in the second phase. The problem is that you can't summon the same ghost twice, um, which I was not aware of. Which I don't know if it's, if it's you can't summon the same one twice, if you can't, or if it is you can't summon twice. Because I mean, the summoning symbol just kind of disappeared. Uh, so I'm just gonna try to do here. Um, I'm assuming that I can. Where the fuck is the path down? How do, how do we, I've been down there tons of times, how do we have to get down there? Is this behind the camp? Is this, this uh... I could have sworn that I came from the that I came from approaches from this side. Do you, wait, do you just li do you literally just like drop down? I, feel like, I don't feel like that's right. The 
What? Oh, okay. There's like an underground. There's like a tunnel underneath the road there. Ah, there's bandits. Right. So I'm gonna just use this boss. Hopefully, I can summon here. Huh. I did not remember that there was a path underneath there. I'm gonna use this boss here to. How the fuck did I keep getting down before? I guess I just all. Oh. Huh. I guess I just when I whenever I was going down here, I was I already knew, I knew the path, so I did, just kind of it didn't really. I mean, I didn't run down here that many times. Huh. Uh, let's just set up the scenario here. So we had got one summon there. We add the friend the neighborhood doggo in the other slot. Hopefully I can actually summon in the fights. Um Let's go. Just summoning a symbol, hopefully that change when I'm once I'm inside. No. Okay, this is just a no okay, that kind of defeats the purpose of using this bot tested out at all. Well, I mean, it's, it's about time this boss takes a nap, though. Since he's flying, but it does not take damage from it, so that's good. Stuck on the rocks there. Okay, I do. I do love this shield and I like this combo. God, freaking nice! Probably should have killed this guy a long time ago to see what I got from him. Just get him alive as a fairly decent boss fight to test things against. Um, I, I do love that I can just hold my shield up because I have pretty good stamina. I can just hold the shield up and just keep stabbing away. While the boss is wailing at me as well. Um, was it 65? Okay. I have upgraded this a little bit. Isn't there also... Like there is one that increases how much you... It's like how good you are at blocking as well. Yeah, boost guarding ability. This would be pretty good as well. Uh, does it show here? No, it doesn't show here. But that, I mean, that just reduces the amount of stamina drain you take when you get hit while blocking. Right. Um. Let's switch back to the axis and get back to what we're actually doing. 
the main event for today. I'm just gonna be Melania, the annoying lady. Um, da, 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 da. Axe, 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 axe. There's the axe. Yep. Is this the rolling summer is actually a pretty good one. Like it's also good. I mean, it could maybe use some more poise. It definitely could use some more poise. Uh, that's like a pretty good. It has pretty good like overall just overall damage negation. Yep, we go for something a bit more poise maybe. If I were not using this one, unfortunately. Oh well. Um. This is gonna be the jumping attack. Was this just. Was this just stamina? I mean, for the second phase against. The lady friend, this. Uh, this one might not be bad. Uh, I'm also thinking like maybe this one uh, Because like just by the yeah, Go for this one for now just just because of the way Melania attacks um, a lot I'm gonna be wanting to be On high health most of the time Hello Danish uh, Elden goes pretty good um, Gotten a little bit stuck on Well stuck ish uh, on a specific boss here. I'm gonna go head over and try to fight right now. Other, other than that, I'm doing it's been on well. How about you? Da, da, da. Uh, it also has started like some of the flaws of the game has started creeping in and becoming a little bit a um, little bit annoying, perhaps. So I definitely start to see some of more of like the cracks of the game showing through. Um ah, right, it's the memorials, right. You're gonna eat and then play Fallout. Ooh, nice. The first one. Uh is the roots the one I want to I think the roots are the one I want to go to. Uh, so yeah, this boss here is a, that I'm gonna be fighting is a little bit annoying because it has it has some really bad attacks put it that way. Uh, it's caused me some troubles. Oh, Tale of Two Wastelands, Fallout Three plus New Vegas mod. Ooh, nice. Wait, so how does that work? Like it just because they're like on opposite ends of the country. How how is that does that does that work? Install both games and all the they'll see that the mod pile puts all of Fallout 3 into New Vegas. Okay. Okay. So just, a, just out of curiosity, what do you actually gain from doing that? Is it just that you get to use the same character for both things? What is it? So I didn't think the uh, like engine wise would be much difference. Right, so it is just that you Oh So it is just that you get to do it with the same character and okay. Um, I probably should play some. I should play through Fallout 3 at some point. 
Um, and I did play a decent chunk of it when it was new, but I don't remember. I don't remember much from it. Oh, of course, a ten was nice rule. Uh, just. You just buy a bunch of crab meat, maybe? I think I do. Okay. I am a little nervous about this fight because this has been, this uh, was caused me a lot of trouble last time I played this. Yeah, I've uh, read about a couple of hints that it's gonna make it a little bit more tolerable. Uh, also, I I should when, whenever she does that like mega attack, I should either try to run away because apparently you can get away by just run if you are quick enough. You start running and you should be able to get away. Or alternatively, I could also just start blocking. It's very easy to forget that you can actually block with just regular weapons in this game. Because at least in at least me, I get so used to like because you still take chip damage, in this case you take all it, it also like it kind of feels like it's not worth blocking. But I mean my hammer blocks sixty eight percent of the of of physical damage than a block. That's a pr that's not the, that's not that's not a small amount. Just that might be enough to let me actually get through. Yeah, that might actually be enough to just get me through the, through the fight. Now, I am a little bit worried I might get staggered doing that. And then take more damage after I get staggered. We really just have to try it out and see. Um, right, so how do you... I don't want to really waste too much stuff that I'm low on. I'm not going to go in with too much buffing just yet, and I already fucked up. Wonderful. Ah, uh, Vanilla Fallout 3, when you aim, it just zooms in the entire screen, no iron chat. Oh. Yeah, it's been a long time since I played Vanilla, Vanilla 3. Huh. Interesting, my buff actually goes doesn't go away just by sitting down. Interesting. So what was a little bit interesting here is that if I go... I have to summon him first and then buff up. Otherwise I won't have the stamina needed to... I have the magic needed to actually summon him. And that's the attack that I need to watch out for right. So possibly you can just run from it, but it reacts very quickly.
so one problem with having this guy out is that he like he can make some really good stagger it also makes it a lot harder to predict like just what the fuck he's gonna do A lot harder to see, like, keeps interrupting and changing what she's doing. Um, we should just get better at reading her attacks, though. She has some pretty decent tells. And then there was, I was trying to get a way to check if I could summon the other, the other spirit, but I think, I think it literally is you can only summon one thing in the fight. Look at her, look at her just edge, you know, the edge is slow walk all, all over the place. She leaves into action. Interrupts. Oh, that was pretty good. She changed. She did, did like the charge move. Then she changed her target midway through the charge. That's a good. That was a good little combo right there. Nice. And apparently, you can avoid that by just like running under and then to the left. Scrolling in there was not my brightest move. Fucking that right. That was going. That was going so fucking well. This is this fight is so much. The, I would say like my major problem with this fight is literally, literally that one like that one fucked up attack she has. Just makes me. It tilts. I think it, it, the problem I had was that that one attack made me so tilted because it would just like show up and then be like instant death. That I kept, I kept just being annoyed. So so just paying, I was just paying less and less attention and coming in fresh now. And you just be like, right, let's actually pay attention to what she's, like, just let's actually pay attention to what she's doing. Just be careful about this. I definitely feel like it's already making a difference. Now, to be fair, I was also just exceedingly lucky in that fight, though. As she decided to not be a bitch. Also, at least. Hello, Reb. How are you doing? Welcome in. You're fighting this boss again. 
I am gonna have war. I have gotten. I have looked up a little bit of tactics on her, including getting some tips on how to avoid that freaking blender move of hers. Um, just avoid being complete so freaking annoyed next time. I feel like the fight's still gonna be hard enough as this. Because that's gonna happen. Um, I, need, I really need to learn to see that coming. Last time I got away because she was targeting Burger King instead of me. I don't know if this is the right. Um, I'm just kind of curious, like, if I, sh I don't think I want this because it's. I feel like it's gonna take up. Uh, it's gonna be a bit risky. Like, I feel like I would want to ideally. fight her, like, down here ish. Where my friend can actually hit her all the time. I have much more room to maneuver around near us where my friend can still hit her as well. So, my tactic to avoid that attack right now... I need to learn... First, I need to learn to recognize when she's doing it. And then I need to get into the habit of starting to block. With my... With, just with my... With my weapon. Um, so, I, I think that is gonna be enough... Unless I take ma Unless she just knocks down my... Help... The, down my standard bar immediately. I think that's gonna be enough to get me through through a blender mode intact. I need, I need to remember to do this very quickly. And just keep forgetting what the move actually is, like, when I, when I need it, I'm like... Oh, right, I need to do the thing. And I get flustered and, like, what the hell do I to do the thing again? Luckily, because his, his attacks caused her to get out of her way. Oh, you're yeah, just in target mid air there. Okay. He took the hit for us. I shouldn't need to rely on that. There we go. It's trying to be a bit more calm and be a bit lucky, and this is going a lot better. A brighter V right there. Let your flesh be consumed. 
Yeah, that was a very good yes, bonkers. Just getting her into the corner where she couldn't really dodge out of the way. Just keep bonking her over the, over the head. I, I really need to learn to not run into that. Flower, because I... Like, in my head, because she's landed, it's now safe to run in and start hitting her, and I keep forgetting that big glowy thing is still active and doing damage. Uh, but she seems to be taking more damage in the second phase, which is just good. I think I'm not one of my problems. Oh, much better, okay. Look at that. Yeah, I think I'm not one of my problems. What did I was do? I was relying on because I was using the uh, the buff the buff the frost buff thing I was that and that had like a limited time that made me try to hurry up and I don't didn't really need to instead of being more patient just trying to like just like stand back that look for opening and see what's going on Oh, thank you. Good. Look at Mr. Burger King fucking saving the day there. Sir Bergman, I'm not getting in between you and her there. No, I'm gonna save Burger King. I'm gonna revenge Burger King. And now stopping a douchebag. There we go. Oops. Wait, why is why is she taking damage already? Anything inside that giant cloud thing actually caused her to take damage as well. Just two of, of that attack right. Let your flesh be consumed. Okay. Scarlet rot. That could have gone better. I think I was a little bit stuck in a runaway to heal type of situation there again. It's very easy to get stuck in. I don't- I don't know if she is- fuck me. 
I don't know if she's just being nicer to me than now, or if she is actually trying to try just run down here and pop her game. I don't know if she's just being nicer to me, nicer to me. I'm getting lucky, or if just me being more patient and look, just trying to look at what she's doing makes it so. Is more successful in actually fighting your first phase. Thought it could have gone better. Go for Brooking, okay. Oh! The king's still alive! Long live the fucking king! And King's dead. Oh god, whoops! That's not the one I want to use! God damn it, I crabbed instead of healing. I'm having real trouble avoiding that slash that slash like of her right there. That that was that was pretty much my own fault for not. I mean, she was going to go into blend world there anyway. Um, let's just check a thing. Uh, okay, these are okay. These two are exactly the same when it comes to blocking. I think it's going to be just like for, for my fit, just from actually execution. Execution. I think it's easier to block switch 
switched like my offhand weapon and block. Then I just switched my main hand weapon and block. Just because the bot. Just because of a nice. Just because of that's basically using the same button. To, to switch. To switch. Just makes it a little bit easier. Holy fuck, that's like a perfect fucking round. And then she fucking opens up with a blender move and I fuck up switching. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, that's. Oh my god. That was such a good chance as well. That's that's a little infuriating. Oh. One thing I need to do though. Um. Ah! Why am I taking s I'm still thinking I'm still taking a lot of damage. Why am I taking so much damage from that? I guess maybe I just need I guess maybe I just need to dodge and hope for the best, which I don't like. The alternative is running, but that That still requires me to, you know, not be in the middle of an attack when she goes up and starts. Ah, oh, fuck me! Now that did work really well. I wonder why it doesn't work didn't work before. I am Melania. Blade of Mikola. <laughs> 
Hmm. I want to try a couple of times to do this again to do this without ashes. Just like, I think, like especially in the second phase, I think. I think especially in the second phase, like having Burging out at the start at the start of the second phase, so you can just go ham at her while she's like standing, just sitting there. I think it's really good. Um, where the fuck is Burging? Um. Is it just this guy? Yeah. That was a mistake. I'm gonna. I don't think that one potion is gonna make a difference, but I would rather not. I mean, I have gotten into a good, se good second phase and just more or less died because I ran out of heals. rather ha make just make sure that I have all 12 of them going in um I could switch what probably switch one over as well Nice, again. Almost perfect fight. We're not on the crab still. On Burger King! Let's do, let's go, Burger King. No, fuck me. That's not good. Oh, holy fuck, Burger King. Let your flesh be oh, oh, oh. Just hoping Burger King could distract her. Oh, I healed up, but now, of all the moves get killed by, oh, the grab is such an easy one to avoid. That, like, that one was 100% my own fault. But she's gonna have the burgling there. Actually, I bought this blade or uh, blender move there because she hit the wall. Interesting.
Okay. Working got killed. That's fine. He wasn't very low health at the end of it anyway. Okay, her, okay, that one needs to dodge, because uh, that does a lot of stamina, stamina degradation to block. Um, it's fine, I, I got this one, I need to pop, I really should pop this one at some point. I just don't know when would be like the best way, best time to do it. Uh, I probably want to pop it like that just almost like at the start of the second phase if I can I am opening if I'm not too busy healing and everything there. A bit nasty, but not too bad. Ah, uh, and Crap, I'm in crabbing mode. How many times am I gonna get killed because I'm on, I'm on the crab? Oh, come on, okay. That one doesn't seem too bad, I just need to. I should be able to dodge that one pretty well. Yeah, I would want my friend to stick around a little bit longer in second phase.
Yeah, I think what's happening there is that I'm still in recovery from, it, from my attack. And so I can't... So I'm taking extra damage, I think. Well, that, that not, you know, not dodging at all. Or blocking. Um, I didn't see her at jump... I didn't realize she jump, was jumping up until... It, nice, it was already too late. Uh, me. That attack is still definitely stupid. Uh, still not a fan of that one. You know, honestly, if if I can manage to react in time, I would prefer if he attacked me with it and not not working though. Like that, like preferably I would not want to be prepared and blocking it. So well. I might need like every. I feel like every now and then I might need like to take like a half an hour break and just go and do something else. Just to clear my mind a little bit of what she is up to.
Hulk her and her attacks. I really feel like the health regen is unnecessary on her. It it, it just really feels demotivating. Like she pulls out that that blade, that blender move. Not only are you in great danger of dying, she's also gonna come out of it like a, at least a quarter of her health by regen regenerated. It's a little, it feels a little unnecessary. And of course she just pulls the blender move. By the scarlet rot. Wasn't going particularly well anyway, but I need to learn to time my attacks better with the I need to time, learn to time my attacks better with his, his attacks so that I don't start start a jump attack right as he's shooting his his bolts. Because usually they hit first and cause a just leap back.
Oh, I didn't realize he was just going to blend well there. Okay. Uh, I would have liked for him to have a little bit more health, but oh well. about that, unfortunately. Do one of these directions again. Where I. She keeps. Oh, this is so fr. Oh, fucking healing is so unnecessary. Like, oh, this fight has gone on for a while now. And you have done. All the damage you did is just gone. Hope you didn't want that damage to begin with. God damn it. there's anything I can do to stop her from killing him, killing the Burger King that, that early in the fight. I would like if he, sticked or, if he stayed around. Um, it's gonna be a stupid idea, but maybe if I, tr if I try to only summon him, him in the second phase? I don't know entirely how how reliant I am on him to get to the second phase to begin with, though. That might be problematic. Just... I think we need to. I think we need to pull out the Burger King. Um, he seems to have better chance of surviving at the start of the second phase. But I don't know if I put him in the initial in the initial fight. Change anything like where he ends up in the second phase. I feel like he had more chance of surviving. Was like a bit further up the hill here. It might just be might be a straw man type of deal. Might be.
Jeez. Okay, she. And the game decided I wasn't going to be attacking, so that's fun. Not, that fight was just going to. It's not going anywhere. Must manage to turn off the settings. Change one of the settings. Let's, tr let's try that again. I do wish the blessing lasted a bit longer. Uh, for, for my for my weapon. Yeah, she was just being unruly in that fight right there. Crabs, fucking crabs. That's just, it's just so fu- it's... I hate that you can just pull that move right after you just finished it. It's so fucking stupid. Like, I hate that you can even pull it twice in the same fight. Never mind fucking twice in like seconds of each other. Stop doing that. Good girl. Yes, look at Burger King surviving. Dream team. Dream team! Ooh. I believe! I believe, come on! Yes! <laughs> Take that! Oh, that feels good. I don't care if I had to have 
I don't feel like they, like, I did get a couple of hints, like, stuff like, oh, just, like, how to avoid, oh, it was, it was just avoid, how to avoid that, like, first, like, diamond attack first, really. I finally met my match. I, mean, I did also learn that you could, in theory, run away from the blend move, but honestly, that didn't, I never actually managed to do that. I think the main thing was just coming in heavy like a fresh, like being f fresh and not tilted and holy fuck! Is that 480,000 fucking runes down there? 480,000 runes! Okay! Okay, yeah, I mean... If you just go by difficulty, she was by f I think she was worth that much. I've had all the bosses that are like reasonably easy would be worth like 120,000. So 480 is not actually not that insane. Oh, that feels good. I can f I like and it only took me one and a half hours today. One hour and like and a 50 minutes. That's actually not too bad. Now I almost wish I hadn't Now I almost wish I hadn't gotten any hints, but, um... I, I think, I think also if I, just knowing that I could avoid that initial attack in the second phase. I think just knowing that I could avoid that without using up my, using up like my Flask of Wonders physics helped a lot. Because one of the problems I had mentally, like when I was fighting her last week, was that, like, once she had a almost guaranteed one instant kill attack, just she could pull that off her ass at any moment. Then I also knew that the second, like, even if I survived that, I had to deal with that instant kill attack in the sec at the start of the second phase as well. Just, uh, not great. Alright, let's see what we got. We got, also, how many times did I get killed because I accidentally was eating crab instead of drinking healing potions? Way too many fucking times. I see her great rune and remembrance of the rot goddess. Ooh, I am. I am curious. I think you can get a good sword from that. Or did, yeah, because I saw Scorp was running on the with that weapon. I was like, and he meant like, oh, uh, that's like spoiler related to where you find it. So you get, you'll get it later on. Okay. Nice. That feels so good how I finally dealt with her. Um, let's sit down and use those strings before I do something st incredibly stupid here. Set up the nice even 50. I think. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest. It's 100,000 100, left. Uh, I do need to take a quick toilet break, I'll be right back. Alright then, what 
Give me a drop to Um Let's pop Let's see what that is in a second. First off, I need to pop some ruins, I think just like do I just do I just keep increasing my strength? I mean it's I think it's at, at a ridiculous number already. Um One thing I would love to this get for this game to get, uh, and uh, th this goes for like pretty much all Souls games. Uh, that I that uh, Sultan not uh, Sultan Sa Sultan Sanctuary has, is that in Sultan Sanctuary right above your so right above or underneath your salt, which is your that game versions of uh, Souls. You have like a small white bar that shows like how close am I to having enough to level up. It just stops, it just means that you don't have to like go up here, go in here and be like Okay, how rough does it compare? Fuck me, I don't have enough yet. Still don't have enough. Uh, turns out I was not as close as I thought. It just makes it a little bit, just a little bit nicer. I mean, do we just keep doing this? I feel like yes. Let me get the other two up to 60 perhaps. That could also be a good thing to... Might also be something to work, work toward getting endurance and... I think my endurance, endurance is at a good point. Uh, it was definitely getting strain that fight because I was like section where I just had to like do this a ton of times over and over again. Do the jumping attack over and over again. Um, Uh, but honestly, I would. Uh, the thing I really need is just more stamina regen, uh, really. I got this one equipped. Um, should I like to have something else here? That might actually not be too bad because I'm not healing fully anymore. Right, we. What, what what did we pick up? We picked up her rune and her remembrance. Right. Uh, we check the remembrance once we back to back to hold. So rune says. Melania's great rune, devoid of any benediction. Seek the isolated divine tab which stand beyond the lost great bridge. Yep, already got the great sets there, so you go check that out. Now what is all about? Can we do anything with, can we do anything with this? No. So maybe this kind of I felt like there's gonna be maybe a bit more stuff down here, like Okay, I guess, I guess not. Oh. Huh. Okay, guess not then. That's not what I want to do. Right, um, so we got this, we got a uh, eye in the sky to do. Let's just Lop over though, and wait. I don't have. I don't have a point there. I've, I have been there. How did I get there again? Crap. Oh fuck me. How how did I get there? Well that's not great. 
Um, I can, it's been too long, so I can't... Can, yeah, like, in my head there was just like a... Teleport... I mean, there is a teleporter to get there. Did we get there from the... Underground? No... I don't think so. I wonder if there's stuff up here maybe that I haven't been to. I don't particularly and it's not particularly enticing to go running around the rot area here to be perfectly honest. Um So this just goes up here. Don't think there was a teleport from here that got me there. Crap. Uh, I feel like I was up in the Altos Plateau. Didn't mark it, did I? Fucking idiot I am. So I, I like I know it wasn't up here because like it's been quite a while actually since I got it. It mm. wasn't up here, was it? I feel like it's either... I feel like it's either up, up here, like in, in the Altus area somewhere. Or in West Altus somewhere. Or down here in Kaelid, like in Dragon area. I have no idea. Uh, that okay, that's that's a little frustrating. I mean I, I know it wasn't in the city or up here some anywhere. I'm pretty sure I got to this area before like before I I had done any of the city. I mean, I, th I think I'd gotten teleport of the city. I think it was after I did this. I think any of these. Will, I don't think any of this will take me across. The, yeah, because when I go through like the forget thing here, I think it just takes me up into the city. I'm reasonably sure, but let me just double check that. Uh, rip, rip wife number one. Yeah, this, yeah, that just takes me to Lane Lane Dell. Teleport up here, maybe took me there. I, don't think, I feel like I. I feel like I had to go down, like run down from here the first time I was here, which means it wouldn't. That the teleport wouldn't be up here. Like, right, well, I. Forgot I, I keep forgetting I have a play. Yeah, I did the same thing where I, you know, I was doing a little bit of offline play. I kept accidentally using the, the turtleneck. 
Oh, a captain. I mean, I did accidentally use the turtle necklace. I was turning it on my horse. Hello, Bobby. Uh, no, I, I hadn't. I have not beat this. Uh, and the first as well. Congratulations. There is not a whole lot left, I don't think, though. Yeah, there's a lot of people, yeah. I did beat the boss that I was stuck on last time. Uh, it took me an hour and a half-ish. I, I did look up a couple of things on how, like, tips on how to get a, avoid a couple of attacks. Uh, but honestly, I, I think just going into it ref refreshed and not tilted was like 90% of what got me to manage it. Yeah, those. I mean, I know, I know he was playing it. I didn't think it was that far along. Maybe. I'm assuming you want the first votes to go toward Wispall, right? Yours for that. Oh, by the way, I did in I did get an Amiga emulator set up and tried out Wispel and oh, the fucking control scheme there, Jesus! That's gonna be interesting to play. I did not manage to get anything done about about game over in that game. Just testing out that it was working. Yeah. Oh, that uh, control scheme is going to be interesting. So teleport up here. I feel the teleport was like underground or something. Is there any mirage right? I don't think so. Ah. I... I... Yes, yeah, so right... What I'm trying to do right now is I... When I got the... When I beat the boss, I got... The... Like, basically like the broken... Rune that the bosses drop. Let's avoid those guys. And I need to take that to the to a specific divine tower. And I have been in that divine tower. I just cannot for life me remembering how, remember how I got there. So I'm, I'm trying to like feel. I'm trying to like think like where could. Like I know it was a teleporter of some kind. I'm just trying to think like where the fuck could the teleporter be? Because apparently, like the absolute mad genius I am, I decided that marking that marking that on the map would be. Incredibly stupid because of course I would remember the way back there, right? Who would be dumb enough to not remember something important like that? It's not here. Let's get over there. Uh... Wait, isn't there? Isn't, isn't there a teleporter around here somewhere? I think there is. Could that possibly be it? I mean, that's close ish. I never went down here. You know, just running around early in this week, just trying to find areas I hadn't been to yet. I just kept. Ooh, oh god. Well, oh, that could have gone better. I mean, in my defense, I managed to react quickly enough to avoid the boulder. Uh, forced my reaction was to run off the cliff instead, which doesn't help particularly much. Is 
Is there like always like a fucking wizard or something? A little wizard bastard around. Summon those. Are you up there, you little bastard? Yeah, I got a bunch of, of like little things that I want to run around and try out now. Or explore. Got a bunch of stuff that I want to do. You know, I just need to make sure I don't. Well, make sure I hope that I hope that I don't forget about any of them. Hmm, last time I saw these bullets being summoned, it was like a boss, like a mage round that did it. Ironically enough, it would really, it would really have been less damaging to just let the boulder run over me than to actually start dodge it. So that's that's great. Where does this go? I should almost like make a checklist of. I should almost like just to make a list of all the stuff that I want to check out now that I've done the boss. Uh, so I don't forget any of them. Oh, it was actually aiming at me. Interesting. Who keeps fucking something else and who keeps fucking dying? Oh, hello. Well, I guess there's not the dungeon here. Yes, yeah, well, that we can do Dry the giant barrel cave. Ooh, hello. Light back on the menu. I I don't like that there was a beer out, like a beer outside. Um. That makes me v very worried that there might be another one around these parts as well. So this out with the... This one. So this one out with the... This one, since we're in the rot area, I think we'll, I think we'll put the... Rot postules here instead. Yeah, so I was worried about that there was a mini bear outside, made me worry there's gonna be a big boy inside here. That way, I'm gonna check out what the fuck is this way. We see what is back turned. I hate fighting those. I hate fighting those guys. So I would sort of avoid doing that if I can. Ah. Wolves, what? Okay, why are wolves teaming up here? Yeah, okay, that's just a little dead end. That's fine. I think this just loops around back down to the uh, lower area there. Does have some reinforcements. We can just try to get rid of that first. We just take care of both of them at the same. Just hit both at the same time. That also works. Really? That wolf didn't notice me? Huh? Those are apparently rather overpowered. I guess. 
I mind I especially the drop I feel like this is gonna lead to a boss I just wonder what's like what is there like if what's if I just follow the bear I wonder what's behind the bear What? The guy who's not eating is the same kind of the, of the same kind of people as up in the sky. It makes a certain amount of sense considering we are like ro almost not very close to where that would be. I think both of them actually are okay. Yeah, specifically called Beastman of Armasula, okay. Oh. I think I just got the real lucky. Right, I, th I think the guys that had a strong weapon, at least like the regular version of them, the guy with a strong weapon is a lot weaker than the other type. Oh, Flame Break plus two, nice. Have I ever read, read any of the description of these? The ancient dragons who ruled in the prehistoric era before the Earth Tree would protect the Lord as a wall of living rock. And so it is that the shape of the dragon has become symbolic of all manner of protection. Okay. And they all just say the same thing. Literally often, often say the same thing. Okay, interesting. Including this one. How interesting that there's basically like, tr like of this type of like protection talisman, it's basically like three types. You have like the Drake talisman, version of the dragon talisman, or Drake talismans. You have the ones that are like the related to like living entities, I guess. And they have the death one. Oh, that's a neat little cave. Still don't know what's, what's behind the bear, but... Uh, did we sneak up on the bear and chuck a sleeping potion at it? I think I think I do. Especially if I just go from hiding, that should be... Really teleporting out like that removes my... Why are you teleporting like that to remove my fucking lantern? Oh, sleepy bear, sleepy bear. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy bear. That's not. Nothing interesting. Let's hurry this up. I don't want to be having this when he wakes up. I wonder if he'll come just charging at me when he wakes up, or if he's gonna be like, sort of go back like regular and be like, oh, I wonder what happened. Nice little nature sanctuary around here, huh? In the bull goat's talisman. Ooh. Not got an actual talisman for our troubles there. Suspicious, no? Not suspicious. Okay, never mind. Come on, game. You can do it. You can do it, game. Come on. Come on. There we go. Good game. Uh, bullhorn. Sorry, what? 
Oh, there they are. Raise it. Oh, hello. Uh, not the ten points. I don't know if that is worth it. Okay, I'll put it on. Something's dying. I don't know what is dying, but it's definitely dying. Oh! Oh, okay. I didn't think the bear would die in one hit, but okay. So where, the, where the fuck does this go then? I mean, it's heading toward. I know this is this isn't what I'm like actually looking for. Heading toward the divine tower. Does this need like maybe like a part of the divine tower I haven't been to or something? Yes, yes, yes. Is this like a part of this area right here that I didn't never found? I mean, to be fair, I wasn't looking around too much up there because of the. No, the dragons being kind of in the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it really is just another way to get up to that area over there. Without. There's still a way down here as well without running. Okay. This was not as hidden as. This was not as much of a thing as I thought it was gonna be. I'm kind of sad, but okay. Dragon boy, just boost up a little bit and you'll fight it. Fight a little dragon just for the sake of fighting it. The dragon's here and I want to kill him. Ow. Oh, this dragon's got a bit of a tail. A bit of a tail fetish, huh? I prefer to go for Dragon's right wing, because uh, just my experience, they don't. That one doesn't move as much. This feels easier to hit, especially with all my like all my jump attacks and all that shit. Ah, huh. just joins up here. Okay. No, I. I thought maybe this might be something. Okay. Ah, oh, crap, it noticed me. Okay. I tried. Sure, sure, I'll, I'll kill you as well. I, I'd say I love that the dragons can just knock over trees. It really helps build. It really helps sell like how en just enormous they are. Also, there's too few things in games that actually knock stuff over. Trees are trees are just too solid in games. Just give me some red flasks back. So really matter, but well. Get up there. Good boy. Uh, there's all of these focus I'm just gonna avoid. Oh, oh no! Oh, just those guys, okay. Right, I already done the earth tree. Right, I, th I thought those were. I thought those were like the small gremlin guys, like the Vision Militia. 
there's a fucking nightmare occasion to deal occasion to deal with. This teleporter be oh, just keep it down here. What? What? Why the fuck did I die there? I mean, I, I guess because I hit like the side of the mountain or something. I mean, I, 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 it was showing the, it was showing the slowdown effect from hitting the wind, but it still didn't catch me. I mean, it's not the worst place to die. And this time it worked. Was there or was that uh, I think it was between I, th I think it might have been up in the graveyard. It's not this way, yeah for sure. I'm really sure certain there is a teleporter in this area somewhere. Uh, I, I feel like it's not gonna lead me where I want to go, though. Shank it because it's one of the few things I remember. Uh, one of the few teleporters, random teleports I remember, and I just want to make sure. I might just look up where the teleporter is, because I mean, I have been there already. That doesn't feel like cheating, it's just... Helps... Helps, uh... Helps my stupidity. Um... I don't think it's here, right? Got to be up in Lane Dell then. I could go and fight that fucker as well. It'll look easy now. There wasn't like a teleport down here, was there? No. Because they turn out to be completely useless. Um, uh, the do 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 No, it's not up here, because this is where we found Ronnie's body. I don't think it was up here.
I think there was like a teleporter in this area either. Check. Probably, probably the teleporter is just gonna be like in some. It's not like a rhyme or reason where the teleporters are. So I know that I think I got there after I. I think I got there after I had like teleported up here from the four belfries and actually managed to clear it out, which was after I started dual wielding weapons. Which I believe I did after I started fully exploring the Atlas Plateau, I think. To me, that feels like where the teleporter should be. Uh, the question just becomes then where in the Altus Plateau it is. I think... I think I went and did it before... Did I get to that? Or did I get it from the city? Fuck, oh, I hate that. I hate that I didn't. Oh, I hate that I didn't mark it properly. Why would I be sort of absolute idiot? Oh. I think the tower over here is, all, is already... I don't think I got an into the tower over here. So it feels like a little bit too early because I. What did? Or did I clear out? Yeah, you no, know, this is one of, one of those erudition guide your, light your way. Oh, what that means less. This means like light your way, like literally. Um. Why could I not just, why couldn't I just mark it? Why why do I hate myself? Little teleport repair. Oh, it's so frustrating to, to know that you have found something and then you just forgot to mark it it's not in, in any kind of way. Uh, 
hand to hand mode because it's just got to. No, no, I think I no, actually, I think I switched it to hand to dual to dual wielding. Yeah, no, I think I went and cleared the sky area from the bel four belfries. After I'd already been in the tower. Ah, uh, I guess it could be almost literally anywhere. I'm hoping he doesn't have any. Hoping it's nothing. In to inside the sainted hero's grave. Check up top here. Um, I do have this. The sim a simple badly weathered map left this garden forgotten for some time. They paint streaks of amber light. Now I'm reasonably certain. Yes, based as you can see, like based on. Can I not hit the mouse there, please? Based on like this, like the road curving away. That looks a lot like the steps leading up to the city, or at least up to the wo outer wall of Landell. Which means that this would be up on here on Stormcolor Hill. Like it looks almost like, like it looks like this here. You know, like the lights would be like in this area right here. Yeah, you yeah, sorry Reb, you missed it. Millennia is down. And now I'm trying to remember how the hell I got over to over to the isolated divine tower, because I know I've gotten there. I just can't for life me remember where the teleporter there was. If you remember like the rough area, I wouldn't mind a hint. Uh, Cause like a complete fucking idiot, I decided not to mark the location of that. It felt really good, like... She felt... It felt really good once I finally did manage to kill her. I have to say. I think there's a teleport down. I don't think there's a teleport down in the church down here. I'm gonna try to re find the teleporter. Oh, it is from the Divine Bridge in Landell Royal Capital. Yeah, I mean, it does have the hint that it's from like the broken. It does have a hint on something like that. Thank you. Uh, a seat which stands beyond the Lost Great Bridge. I really thought that, I really thought the teleport was before the sit lane Dell, but apparently not. Uh, so Oh yeah, up here right. Yeah, there is a teleport on top here. I completely forgotten this one. Thank you, thank you for that. I appreciate, I appreciate the help. I can't believe I didn't mark. I can't believe I got to the divine ta found a teleporter to the, that I said divine teleport divine tower. I was like, ah, I'm sure I don't need to mark that teleport in any kind of way. It's not like teleports can be. Literally anywhere in the world. I'm sure I'll remember that random teleporter is. I mean, you can't really, you can't blame the game for that. That's hundred percent my own fault for being an idiot. But yeah, unless there's like a second millennia or some. Lania somewhere. I feel reasonably com 
I feel like we are going to be finishing the game pretty soon. Now, now it's just a bunch of like little small things I need to con go back and continue exploring before I head back up to the floating sky, floating castle in the sky. Um... Yeah, I also found... It looks like I can use some of the roots behind the chapel there to jump down to like that building at the base there. Uh, I tried doing it a couple of times off stream. Like, it felt like I might be able to get down there, but it also kind of felt like I died when I shouldn't have died, so I'm not entirely sure. Lanius Great Rune, nice. I mean, it, it doesn't, it, to me, it doesn't scream like, oh yeah, there's something here, to me. Oh, nice. Right, so that's why she got HP back, because she had this. Nice. The blessing of this half-rotted rune reduces the healing power of the flask of crimson tears. Ah, oh, fuck. And yet, due to the infusion of Melania's spirit of resistance, attacks made immediately after receiving damage will partially recover HP. Melania is daughter to the Queen Marga and Radagon. Oh... Okay, and her great rune should have been the most sacred of all. Right then. Oh, do, you need to, do you need to go and find the Radagon statue as well? Must be like little things. Let's uh, pop by here and see, first of see what we can get from Melania's soul, or Remembrance, more precise. Don't worry, it. And also see if any of the people have anything new to say now. I don't think they will. Michaela and Melania are both children of a single god. As such, they are both Empyreans, but suffer afflictions from birth. One was cursed with eternal childhood, and the other harbored rot within. Eternal childhood? I don't feel like I've met any children. Sure. Bloodless build up, katana slash spears, okay. Oh, it has the waterfall down waterfowl dance, which is what she was doing when she went into blender mode. Leave. Blade built into Melania's prosthetic arm. Through consecration it is resistant to rot. Melania's war prosth prosthesis symbolized her victories. Some claim to have seen wings when the weapon was raised aloft. Wings of fierce determination that have never known defeat. Until now, at least. From a series of one footed leaps in the manner of a waterfowl to unleash a swift yet graceful slashing combo, repeated inputs allow for up to two follow up attacks. Creates a gigantic flower that blooms into an explosion of scarlet rot. Each time the Scarlet Rot flowers blooms, Melania's Rot advances. It has bloomed twice already. The third bloom shall become a, th a true goddess. Ah. Fate. Fate. Fate Nation, okay. Let's get any for equipment, perhaps? Ooh, hello there. Uh, not just her stuff. There's some more stuff in here that I don't recognize.
Melania also await Melania awaited Michaela at the foot of the husk. My brother will keep his promise. He possesses the wisdom, the allure of a god. He's the most fearsome fearsome empyrean of all. I feel like he's gonna be like a final ish boss. Ah, Loretta stuff as well. Once a royal carrier knight went on a journey in search for Haven for Albinorix, and determined that Halley Tree was their best chance for eventual salvation. Ooh. And dress up as Melania. Ooh. That's like a new little armor right there. I kind of hope that her gauntlets only... Mm, it feels weird that it shows the right arm, because she didn't have a right arm. It's like all prosthesis. Oh god, okay, that's creepy. Her, her boobs are like toes on it, like individual toes. That doesn't feel good. You're right. See what the helmet's all about, though. <laughs> right. Why don't? It's not happening. Um. Uh. There it is. I'm gonna stick to my black hood for now. And clothing just sort it's gonna sort much easier to find find it then. Huh. The prosthesis is built into the uh, chest piece, actually. I mean, that makes sense. It's a little bit weird how the prosthesis becomes part of the armor and has. It's like hollow for you to put your arm into. Very fancy armor, huh? Just shiny for my taste, but it nice. Let's get our jump attack cloak back on, though. Right, thus Mr. Fafni, or not Fafni, uh, is there all no one over here have anything new to say? <sighs> so, the Haley tree, now but a husk. I heard speculation Mikola embedded himself in the Haley tree, but before he could finish, Someone cut the tree open and absconded with his infant form. Indeed. It seems those words held weight. How vexing. That the all-knowing didn't have the full story. Perhaps the Queen's sorrow was justified. Bah. My apologies. Lost myself for mm. a moment there. I don't have any information where you might have gone off to, though. Great value. As promised. Your reward. A oh. secret right. You are a true fellow. I loved if he could tell me. You tell me anything about maybe where he went off to, but I guess. I guess he doesn't know. I don't think I have anything to upgrade right now. I see. Just checking them since we're already here. Lay out your arm. No, 
How could I say that? Father has always given me his guidance. And now... <laughs> Little annoyed that I managed to cut her, her storyline off short. I'm pretty sure I answered the wrong... I'm pretty sure I shouldn't... I answered the wrong... Answer the wrong thing. Because she asked me something like... I think she asked me something like... Oh, should I have... Yeah, she asked me something about her father's guy, and I said the wrong choice for sure. Um, well, let's go and fight this guy. Just because he's there. For no particular reason. I don't know what the best choice is. I also. Wait, is this, another, is this one of the assassin type characters? Is that why I didn't bother fighting him it might have been okay these tr these trees don't have any excuse to be floating unlike the ghost ones these ones should be firmly planted in the soil over here-ish. Yeah, this looks about right. No, not... Yeah, this way. Yeah, this is taken out outside. Wonderful. Just really like them. We don't need a sleep potion on here anymore, though. Just one of the assassins. Also didn't have that one, huh? Oh, it's stamina regen, huh? Okay, that's... Honestly, I've... Pe oh. Oh, 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 that actually do. Oh, that actually used my myself. Interesting. I almost feel like after having fourth millennia, this guy's just slow. Then it's, it's so quick and so all over the place that. I feel like anything else is gonna feel slow in comparison. I don't know why I got why I bothered getting on my horse there. Um what next, what next, what next? I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the thing that we forgot to do when we Got up to this winter area first. Um, I don't know if this is the right, the right grace. Well, ish. I got, I got both, I got both on squid and one of the people. So we got some crypts in here that we didn't fully explore. Because when I got into this area from the elevator, it said like other oh, beast like quivers. And I just kind of for I don't know if I really forgot. I think it was just more like, oh I'll get back to that later on. Deal.
I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. I got lucky. The squid took too long to get back on his feet. I think this is one of the ones that are where it's worth actually use the crit. There we go. I thought there was another enemy sneaking up behind me, but it was, it was just a tentacle. These are quivers, I think. It means like it's gonna be somewhere I can get. Either like there's an invisible wall somewhere. A fake wall somewhere. Or I thought maybe somewhere I could drop down, but no. Check that wall. I feel like I checked those walls last time. Oops. This part here, right? This part right here has me suspicious. Look, like maybe. Sh it's like an invisible bridge shape or something like that. Yes, okay. This is an area over there and an area over there. So I'm guessing this bit just goes between those two. Okay, nice. Well, still there's Garb, nice. What what do you do with the silver scarab? What do you do with the silver scarab? You just never put it on, that's what we do with the silver scarab. Oh, actually it raises item discovery. By a not insignificant amount either. Huh. You know what? I'm just gonna put I don't know how important item discovery is, but I'm just gonna put that on there. Just at least when I'm just running around. I feel like we can just take the chance to run straight ahead. I mean, worst case scenario. We respawn at the stake, jump off the bridge here, and just... Pick, it up, pick our runes back up and figure out what we should have been going. Okay. And then what? I mean, there's no bees. Bees are thing here. Okay. No. Don't just run straight over there. Um, I, feel like that, I feel like we have to... I think this is an invisible bridge going over there, though. I mean, it's got to be. I just need to figure out where the fuck it is. I think this approach from the stake, though, is a little bit better, because there's just a couple of those soldiers in the way. And I don't have to deal with, like, this giant squid. Just, just aim for the doors for safety's sake. Drop off, aim for the old 
the door and just run straight for it. Wonderful. Okay, you know what? Let's just go back over here for a bit of safety. Huh. This too close? Guess this was a bit off then. Okay. Wait a second. Can I use the torch to make this these guys visible? Like the torch makes the assassins visible. What do we for this as well? No. Would've been nice. And all of these are particularly... Equally. Okay. Drop down over there, perhaps? I mean, I can just drop down here and grab whatever this is. It's done to so start up doing the two take care of his friends. Not to jump, but I can just keep him stunned. Just just keep him sunlocked, that's nice. I don't know if there's a way to actually get out of this, other than just teleporting back out again as well. Jumping in the middle of combat is surprisingly effective at getting me over enemy's attacks. Huh? 
Little skate room. With a bit on the side. Uh... I've yet to actually find a secret in any of those alcoves there. Uh, so I think, and I have looked in quite a few of them. No reason for this. Oh, spell rick plus two, nice. Weird. Yeah, okay, I thought it was a room I'd already been in, but apparently not. Oh no, it's this room. Um, I feel like this is like all the way up at the top. That's not good. That's like really not where I wanted to be. Um, crap. Let's see if we get the screen popping down. I uh, should be able to just run back down though. Don't unlike like right here ish. Anything on the surface is just all yes, yeah, looks like to be all water, okay. Alright then, let's see what this boss is like. Don't I have a burn of those death, death roots? I have a couple that I haven't gone back to the beast cleric with. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Or, or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I might have been back there actually. Also oh, mimic. <laughs> oh, I'm free. It's like the easiest boss in the game. They put it nicely. The game does not deal well with trying to ape my playstyle. Oh, the Black Flame Monk Amon. Ooh, okay. I think it might have some juicy lore. That sounds like it might have some juicy lore to it. Let's see, Black. Black Flame, right? No? Okay. Why well, am I looking there? He's a. He's an Ash. Um, what did Ash just go in here? No. Oh, of course, yeah. They're under the Ash tab. Uh, that's where we're here. A mon swore fealty to the god slain black flame and so became the first fire monk to turn traitor. Or perhaps it's better said they fled from the giant's flame out of cowardice. Okay, a little bit of lore there. And no death root. Wonderful. I just put you all the way up to the, out of the snowfield. Nice. Okay, where else did I want? What else did I want to do? Um. I thought there was something keeping up on me. I don't like it really snow around. Go a little bit back up so I'm not. I don't feel like I'm right about to be ambushed. 
Um, so you remember stunning like this whole area here. I'll just go back inside the new chamber, chamber to see if there's anything new there, perhaps. Although I think there will be. Nope. Just any NPC that might have had something to do with this, I think she would... They would have, like... Like if Mille, if uh, Millicent had something to do with this, she would have come down here. Speak of Millicent. It's running on the Kale a bit earlier on, uh, like early in the week. I noticed that the monk guy down here had changed, Sage Govery had changed the animation. Let's see what he has got to say. Also, yeah, I also found another one of the elves rooting around here. I found... Uh, I don't know what I want to have here. Just put lightning grease, I guess. Um, I did find another one of those keys that works up with the... Uh, with the four belfries. So you can go and check that out as well. Should be able to unlock another one of them. Just, yeah, they just like went through the town. Uh, and apparently it was one of those little ears that I, that was locked off before that I had <laughs> forgotten to check, check after opening them all up. I can't tell if he's in pain what's going on here. Oh, I didn't notice you there. Welcome. How may I help you? My apologies, though. You hardly needed to see me like that. <laughs> Oh, it's just... I realized that I'd soon be saying my goodbyes to Millicent, and... My eyes began to well. She is to meet them very soon, her sisters. And when she does, she'll be defeated, surely, and begin to flower. Which is why, if you happen to be present for the girl's fight with her sisters, I ask that you side with the sisters and kill Millicent. It must be done by your hand, no other. Millicent trusts you, rather deeply in fact. Sever that trust. Nurtured by betrayal, her bud will flower most vividly. When Melania ascends to godhood, Millicent too shall be reborn as a scarlet Valkyrie. You can't tell me you don't wish to see it. The superior bud that is Millicent becoming the finest of flowers. I beg of you, kill her. With your own two hands. You can't tell me the superior bud that I beg of you. Not sh I feel kind of bad about betraying Millicent, actually. I think I think I needed to do that to make something happen in in the uh, boss fighter room in Relenia's room. Although he was saying that before I had fought her. Oh. It's a not as a way. Where would she fight her sisters then?
There doesn't seem to be a, that much of a. There doesn't seem to be much of a. Uh, oh, you hit like the max amount. Oh, hello? No. Oh, yeah, no, no. Nothing, okay. Doesn't really seem to be any of that like. Max amount of. Like that drop off that you had in earlier Souls games where like. Oh, hit like basically like, the max amount of. What it's beneficial to raise a stat to. I'm still getting more damage out of putting points into strength. I feel like it's got to... I feel like it's got to be in... Like, in the Haley Tree area somewhere. Mm, I don't feel like she would have wandered off to like some random location. I feel that would have been weird. Maybe. Oh! Oh, is wait, is maybe that is Mills and Blooming? No. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where the next step of Millicent's uh, storyline has is off to. Because this sage, sage golf gofrey guy want me to side against like with. She said that uh, Millicent would meet up with her sister soon and let her bloom. And that he also said that I sh would side with her sisters against her. Basically betray her and that and that would cause her to like, properly bloom into her full powers or something like that. Uh, the problem is that I have no idea where the fuck she might, she might be. I'm not, I'm, honestly, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about these, like, chase down NPC type of quest lines, like, they I kind of feel like they are okay, like, like, they were kind of interesting in, like, the early Souls games. In the Souls games, because, I mean, in those, you had, like, a more or less linear path you'd follow, so... In this one, it's like... You would basically, like, continue up... And this quest on you just had to be like just follow the just follow the path, basically. But when it's like, okay, the the NPC has wandered off to somewhere, and that somewhere could be like and you just have like no idea where in the world that might be. I don't feel like that kind of quest landing holds up in an open world. Um, so I, I kind of liked how, like, the first guy you met. I was literally, I was literally called Michaela's Haley Tree, huh? Interesting. Because literally the first, like, the first MC you met, the one that, like, meets you out here. I think, like, when he leaves, he leaves, like, a message, like, meet me in this location. And I, I feel like something similar would have been not would have been nice to have for, for like all of them. Like they leave some kind of message where you last met them, telling you like roughly where. At least give me like some kind of hint as to where they might move on to. Did we get that one fixed? Uh, I don't think she'll be here. Um, I 
I met her... I met her somewhere in the Halley tree. You can get walls. Was so close to? It was like close to here. I think it was like. Yeah, it was. I think it was like somewhere off the like off the this fucker. I haven't actually killed. Huh. Oh. Maybe I have killed him. I think I met her like in here somewhere. Or did I meet her right after end? It might have been after entering like the city portion, like before, like after finishing like the branches and getting into the city portion. Actually, yeah, that no, no, that sounds a lot more right. Yeah, because this just has this area, which I mean, also wouldn't be. Like, kind of makes sense. Just like in prayer, we must slightly before that. Yeah, this is where I met her the last. Although I did one of those. Um... I don't know, set of clothes. I think it belongs to her, like the wonders traveler's clothes. Might have been hers. There's a lot of weird helmets and stuff in this game. Um, but yeah, I don't think she's here. She, I mean, she was got, she was like talking about like, like going to confront Melania or something like that. And then she just disappeared from this place. Oh, fuck off, dude. And the Sage Goffrey guy is talking about like her confronting her sisters or something. Something weird like that. I'm thinking I might I think I'm thinking I might just look up where to find her. I'm enjoying the whole like oh just run around the map and maybe you'll find her. Uh speaking of finding people, one thing I realized, so a couple of streams ago, I went through, I went through the uh, turtle pope, right? And I used like the atonement just for no particular reason, really, just because it was there. And to my surprise, it was like, oh yeah, you atone, you atone for sin. So I'm like, okay, I didn't really have sin or anything. Right, that's just massive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She definitely met me at the bone at the room down here, the grace down here. So, so yeah, I, so at first I thought like, okay, I guess you can just you atone even if you haven't sinned. And I tried again, I was like, nope, you haven't sinned, for, sinned. So I was like, oh, yeah, I guess, I guess I have sinned against someone. I couldn't remember, I couldn't remember who, because I've been a reasonably nice guy. I just doesn't had really attacked anyone outside of when I was supposed to attack one. Except I realized for one person. The mage character down in East Limgrave, who I thought like maybe, yeah, look at that. Yeah, maybe she would. I could progress her story by actually attacking, but no. So it seems like me. Yeah, so it seems like she's back. So maybe, maybe I found whatever it's needed for her quest line now. I might want to check. I want to check on her a bit later on as well before we kick on too far. Um. 
check Elden Ring. Um, so what? Right, access the Healy Tree, find Millicent, defeat the old good tree spirit mini boss. I don't have to. Okay, I need to find some other, need to find some other guide for that. Uh, Oh, okay. I mean, the Vicky says she won't move from here until you defeated the mini boss, but uh, she was gone from here almost immediately. If you immediately, um, I think. Oh, so apparently, there's like a yeah from here, yeah. Um. Apparently, there is some invasion signs that showed up here after I fought that bastard over there. Let's make our way back over to over there. I just, uh, yes, I just left this area out looking around too much after I killed him. Uh, there's supposed to be like some sub some signs here I can use. Is there one over there? Okay. Good. I don't know if you had to sit down and in sit down at the grace and then come back here. Right, so I can either choose some to assist Millicent or some to challenge Millicent. I kind of feel bad about killing her. I also kind of want to see what happens if she blooms into full, like a proper Valkyrie as well. Not a good this is not a good guy choice. I The guy said that she had to die by my hand. Uh that was definitely not by my hand. You have the prosthesis, okay. Uh, I do think maybe I chose the wrong option. Boost a state you raise attack power with successive attacks. Well, that's actually that's a pretty good one. One of these birds right here, no, okay. Yeah, I think I think that was 
Then I think that might have been the wrong choice for finishing your quest line. I think you, I think I should have helped her out. Or instead to be a nice guy. The wiki also said that what you got an item from her. Or for, I didn't read whether it was, whether you supposed to help or not, but the, the wiki said you got an item from helping from doing doing this. It was the only way to get rid of the frenzied flames, so uh, I guess we go on the flame ending. You just burn the entire world to the ground. You get to see what she ends up being. Let's see how she ends up. How she ends up. Oh, that's the wrong way. Yeah, I don't think I would have ever looked back over there. I yeah, yeah I mean obviously just friend just your friendly neighborhood f flame, nothing wrong with that. I wonder if I had to talk to that sage guy to get her to sh get this to show up or not, or if that sh if this literally showed up like the invasion signs showed up. Actually, as part of uh, as part after just defeating the thing that used to be here. Yeah, but I'd, I would have never checked over here again. That's for sure. I, I don't. I don't feel like there was anything that w would tell me that. I don't feel like there was anything that was like, oh yeah, that's where you. That's where Millicent's gonna be fighting her sister or whatever. So it feels like a pretty random location, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, I feel like I've, def I've definitely, feel definitely starting to feel like I took the less satisfying option there. I broke in the chain. I just feel like maybe going with, like actually helping her might have like sort of broken the quest line. Like I did with that uh, hero lady. Oh well. And this guy just took his own life, okay. Flock canvas talisman and Gowris wall bearing. Well, fuck you, old man. Fuck you. Use me to your own needs, huh? Yep, great erases in the power of incantations. Right, let's check what's... Let's check if... Uh, maybe I picked up something that will make Selen here... Move on. But so, sorry about hitting you earlier, I just thought you were an imposter and I could progress your storyline by murdering you. My apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? Okay. What's this sorcery, my apprentice? Ah, then you have seen Master Azure. Master Azure was a founding glimstone sorcerer, and my first no, teacher, is wearing going barefoot. a stern judge of men, but he must have seen something in you. You make us both proud. We can speak more later, my apprentice. If you recall, I was exiled. Ah, oh, nice, nice to finally get her moving. It was for attempting to restore the primeval current of glimstone sorcery. The toothless pedantry peddled by the Carian royal family can rot for all I care. I want glimstone sorceries that open our minds, unbound by terrestrial taboos, no matter what we give in return. My apprentice, I presume nothing. Teacher and student are not bound to tread the same path. But hear me out, my apprentice. I need your help to restore the primeval current of glimstone sorcery. Okay, yeah, I'm Perhaps up for that. This is a journey we could take together. 
I think that's what I got from the weird sorcerer, like the weird crystal sorcerer guy on the way up the volcano. Which would explain what... That's surprisingly far you have to go from here to be able to get that. Splendid. I thank you. This pleases me. Sometimes it's just like it's way too long to between a fellow kindred spirit. meeting and talking to NBC until we can continue the quest line. Like it must have been like a hundred hours between I like, talked to this uh, between me finding this lady. I should probably probably a bit less like eighty hours been talking to her initially. Be like, oh, I wonder what her quest line is. Until I actually got that Azure thing. I need your help. My apprentice, Master Lusat is another founding glimstone sorcerer, and like Master Azure, he was banished from the academy. Now he languishes in prison somewhere. My apprentice, can you find Master Lusat? With this glimstone key, you should be able to cross the boundary that encloses him. <sighs> That seal breaker better have some more information on where the fuck he is, cause you just gave me absolutely nothing to go on. I need him to restore the primeval current of glimstone sorcery. He's nigh a child of the stars. Such is his body now. After his expulsion from the academy, I heard that Master Lusat returned to his home, a place called Celia in the eastern Caled wilds. Thinking about it, I obtained the glimstone key I gave you from a Selian sorcerer. It wouldn't be too much of a leap to suppose he's still cooped up nearby. After his expulsion from a place called Celia in the Eastern Cale, thinking about it, it wouldn't be too. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we got a we got a lead where to find guy. Um. I wonder what I'm using. What I'm gonna be using that for? Uh, I can release Master Lusat from his confinement. I don't remember another seal over there. Remember anything creeped up here that, I, that wasn't already open, but Yes, it must be some kind of seal that I've forgotten about, or that I haven't noticed. I really think a single one of my axes will just takes them out. I don't think I. Wait a second. Wasn't there something sealed up over in the out in the fucking nowhere land out there?
Really? I should have to get him to start shooting at me? Okay, I'm in a boat. I haven't even found that that thing, so that's not a good start. So I shouldn't have jumped into, into the lake this quickly. I didn't realize this area over here was like slow walk fucking swamp. Yeah, there was some fuckery over here. This fella first. Wasn't there something like, uh, yeah, like I feel like, can you not? So you can play that game and if, if I'm one of those players, I win. Wasn't this like sealed up or something? No. Some other Oh. Huh. What? Why is the chest over there? The chest is always like in the middle of the room here, so why the fuck is it? I guess it's over there. Hmm. Okay, uh, that was not it. I still feel I still have a feeling I am on the rough right track ish here. Like one of these places out here in the um, fucking nowhere had a seal in it. So I remember thinking like. I feel like I remember thinking something on the lines of like, do I, do I need to take out all the all the guys or something to be able to unlock this or something like that? Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just remembering wrongly. Okay. I like going to bank here as well, but I don't think... <laughs> there's a slow walk here, but I think that's just these... ...fucking flowers. There's actually anything of interest over here. It's 
just get out of here. I don't know, like to be able to just teleport out of here, but the flowers are gonna have to, to, something to say about that. So not there. I guess we. I guess we're just gonna go go to go through the town then. Gonna teleport over here to get rid of the rid of the rot. I'm not gonna bother using up an item for that. Mm, the thing is, I feel like I did a I did a sort of this town fairly recently. I don't remember there being anything? Any gates or anything that was still sealed up. Yes, I might have been a bit sloppy the second time around as well though. Yes. So, it's like up top. I don't know if I checked up top here. This was just like a skeleton land. I don't feel like this. If there's any seals up here. Is the boss room back here? I don't think the boss room had any seals either. Huh. I just used as a giant throne. That looks a lot like the giant throne that the the things that's like in uh, in the underground sit in the tunnels they just was sitting on are sitting on. So maybe this is. So maybe this, this place was another one of the, another like part of their area, huh? Um, I don't think there's anything in the mines either. Maybe I don't think I was up on the roof. Maybe there's something up on the roof. I'll see up at the rooftops. How did I get up there? You were there? You do. Oh, here's also go up here. That also works. Can you get off the horse? Finally. Yeah, I think just went down there. That's great. Um,
Should be up there, perhaps? Just keep coming close enough to trigger combat again. Let's check the tower on the cliff. Um, I'll need another little break, I'll be right back. Did I? Yes, I did. Okay, yeah. Just thinking of the statue that was here and pointing over to this place. I was like, did I ever do that? But yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did. I don't think there was anything else over here, like, right? Just not to lock it the octopus. And then a dead end, yeah, okay. Tough. So I've been hit by me there, okay. Uh, no, no, it's called the Swamp Looker. No, nah, I feel like with that, just a name like that, I feel like I've been there. Little bit easier now that I am fucking overpowered. Interesting, but yeah, apparently I have been in there before. Uh, I mean, I, I know I knew I'd been up here. It's, mm. Yeah, I don't have any good idea where he might be a whole... We might be holding up at. Hmm. 
Yeah, capable of breaking the seal like keeping the master to sought confined say a town of sorcery can be found in Kaelid. The seal said to have been found in the possession of a salient sorcerer. There's a seal down there that I'm not noticing. I was thinking like maybe they're maybe like hidden by illusions, but they, these guys are not illusion types. Um, it's a little bit like there's some dark behind the crypt there. Uh, so I'm just gonna teleport to the mine. Just close and see if there's anything in that area. You know, reasonably sure it's not in the mines at least. No, I think, I think this is just literally the... It's literally a place where it's thrown the remains, okay. I mean, if he's still hold up, I would expect the seal to be like right with an easy spot from like a mile away. It's a bit easier to cleave my way through these fuckers now. There's a whole not really taking a whole lot of damage anymore. We don't need a dual wield here. Just gonna two hand. Just gonna two hand the anchor for good for old time's sake. Uh, that lets me block as well. As this as long as I'm not trading blows there. Wait, have I ever? I looked all the way back here. I must have looked all the way back here, right? I can lit but not look at like a blue light and loot on the rooftops as well. Oh, doggy doesn't doggy doesn't go in one down in one hit anymore, okay. Any or anymore, I mean um two handing. Up here, right? Nice and far away where we might not run into it all the time. No. I can get, I can get on top of these, but I don't think there's anything up here at all. It's not like in. It's not like in the actual gate, is it? Because I mean, that's not a. Pro that's where we come very often. The check to be thorough. Oh, 
Oh, I don't believe I actually managed to sneak in between them there. It's getting hit. That's where just really light the stuff that already done. Shouldn't need to do that again. I think yeah, this will we find that painting. Where the where the hell could they have put, put this bar that these guys behind? Yeah, going through most of town, most of town now. The picture was like, like the picture was like really there's nothing up here until you hit like the Church of the Plague. It's a bunch of annoying skeletons. And this one didn't tell you where Celia is. I guess it's got to be up on the rooftops then. One place left I can think of where it might where I haven't where it might even be. Sorry, here's just a double check. There's only the skeletons on the way up here. I said double check, I mean, like, just have a quick look. Uh, I really don't want to risk accidentally being murdered by some skeletons because these guys hit fucking hard. You know, this is like all the void of anything at all. I'll check it just to make sure. More, I guess. And nothing else is, is at least gonna be a good. Like this is, if nothing else, is gonna be a good vantage point to be, make sure it's like nothing hidden. And like some weird looking cranny on top of the, in the town at least. Yeah, no seals stick out like a sore tremble or anything like that. Oh, 
I'm a little worried it might be hidden like behind like a seek like some kind of fake wall of some kind. I don't think even really particular looks particularly fake wally. Huh. Interesting. Never knows that statue before. Um, can I get up from here again? Well, preferably without dying, horribly. Yo, no death required. So no death required. Oh god. Uh, let's get down from here before I actually kill myself. Unless you just fake me out about where to go, I feel like I have investigated all of this, but let's see this properly by now. Yeah, a lot of other places left to head up, head to. I just went up to these and like lit them. It's a little bit easier to get around on top of the rooftops if you can at least keep it. At least it does if you can manage to keep from running off one of them. Double jump is very useful. This little marionette as well. Is that the only one? There's no one over there as well. Um. It's a bit annoying because he tends to fall down and I have to like jump after him and then... Yeah, and just make sure to get him with one blow. I don't see anything in this town that might indicate a guy that I can rescue. Seal to be broken. Oh god. <laughs> I tried to double jump with my without my horse. That didn't go too well. Might be able to get up there from here if I just took a running jump. No, we're gonna have to go all the way like properly around, okay. Um I 
Yeah, unless. This is some kind of. Maybe some here, but it. No, it doesn't look very much like it, unless it's a this fake wall somewhere, like maybe. Send me to the wrong place, perhaps. Sort of getting a little bit nervous as, as I was falling. Really, Kai was the place that was like all fucking going home about. Illusions. Yeah, run out of uh, run out of ideas somewhere. This guy might be as well. Master Lissart, okay. Elden Ring, Master Lissart. I think it's only called Celia Hideaway. I perhaps hey, you, mouse you can go away now, thank you. Um I've picked up a note. Tell me about this cave. The hidden cave in the town of Celia. Look beyond the graveyard at the precipice. Is the graveyard? I guess we need. Is the graveyard like up here? There's a hidden cave like up here? Okay, 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 I guess I should have found this cave. I don't know why I haven't pursued this this hint. That is rather lax of me.
I guess I guess it makes sense that I haven't found like if it's a hidden cave. I guess it's not gonna be that obvious to see then. I felt it. Oh that that would explain okay, right, if that's part part of the quest, then that explains why they felt the need to have a have an entire note about it. They needed people they needed a player to find it. And that makes sense. Oh, hello. Then it's never went up here either. So it's not eight. Ooh. Uh, this is a little bit sketchy to start going down there. Dragon Barrow is beyond the graveyard. explain why I have never found it. Maybe it's like underneath the fort. Uh, because I had like this area right here, like the can't be that thorough with the with the dragon barrel, I don't feel because I was afraid to not dragon here so I didn't want to fight them all. Oh, okay, no, I, th I thought maybe, I thought, yeah, I thought it was like a cliff there. Uh, and that, hello. Hello, Dash, how are you doing? Welcome in. It's me running around. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he wasn't too bad. I mean, he is... is I mean, he is not the easiest boss, that's, that's for sure. Um, but he... Did you fight any other Deathrite birds? Or is this your first time fighting them? So I guess if that's the first one you fight, then it can be a bit fucky. If I want the way to start, okay. Yeah, it's definitely not an easy one. Um, yeah. I'm just getting the game mechanic more than anything. Yeah, I had that feeling with a couple of with a couple of bosses. And some of these some of these fucking NPC quests in this game, seriously. Oh, oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. He is a he's a fucking nightmare of a camera boss. That's got to be too far, right? They wouldn't hide this fucker underneath a giant fucking drain, were they? Unless maybe... Unless maybe it's like a fake... Fake wall, fake wall. I have to go through. Maybe, maybe that, maybe that's, maybe that's it. Yeah, yeah. The cam, yeah, the camera stuff is definitely annoying with that, with that guy. Uh, 
I feel there's a little bit too many bosses that ha that have like like big bosses like hul that are like hulking over you, which immediately makes them, which immediately like makes the camera locking on f freak out. Must be up here. Must be down here. So this is like in the graveyard itself. Is it? It's like beyond the graveyard. Hello. What are you doing in the graveyard? No, they can't have hidden it out there, it would be fucked. I don't know if there was a cave down there, down there. That is definitely behind the graveyard, but I feel like if it was down there, it would have shown up on the map by now. There we go. Unless this cave doesn't show up on the map until you have actually been inside. It's kind of always just, I'm just assuming that all... Skeleton here as well, okay. I'm just assuming that all the, all the caves show up if you're just close by, because that, that the very first cave I found did that. Pay attention if any if all the other ones have done that or not. No, it doesn't look like much of a cave here either. Um I don't think if I, I don't think I can go down at the harpy path. Not like the path to The only thing you can go down the path out towards like the lookout tower. Well, I mean, I, I mean, obviously I can go there. I don't think that counts like behind, beyond the graveyard. It's like a very well hidden cave over here. Let's kind of avoid it. Only just kind of avoid this little lake here because. Oct octopi as well as the fact that it didn't look like there was anything back here. Could it be? Well, that is beyond the, beyond the graveyard as well. Is it 
rid of this little bastard. Alright. Oh, well, I was waiting for him to like start glowing and try to get up, but right, that's not a skeleton. They, they, they don't do that. Those guys don't do that, okay. Hmm. I feel like I hit. I feel like I have examined or hit pretty much every single fucking piece of wall up here that's even remotely close to the gra graveyard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Okay, we're just gonna ignore. Oh, God. okay, they are hitting a bit here. I still don't entirely, still not entirely sure why I like the skeletons getting back up again in Breath of the Wild, while not being a big fan of it at all in this game. I think it ha uh, it must have to do with like the Breath of the Wild combat system being so much easier, so it feels like much less of a task. I have no idea where the fuck this is. I have a feeling if I look up like the exact location of this cave, I'm gonna be like, how the fuck did, is that the location? It's not close to what the hint tells you at all. Or maybe it's gonna be like, oh, I didn't know, I didn't think of going there. I certainly hope it's a lot later. Can I quick into this guy, can I? No. No, it is actually no. It is probably exactly where it says where not says it's gonna be. Right here-ish. What? You know, I know this is supposed to be like a hidden cave, but come on. But... A little bit insane. Did have that weird guy up there? Did he hit this, maybe? I feel like I must be going blind here. It's supposed to be like in this area right here.
with making rid of this guy as well. Oh, right. Look me. It's wondering why the combat music kept intensifying. Seriously, weird death. Oh, you're not kidding when I said like, this, this was a hidden cave, huh? They enter the Celia hideaway and find sort of loot cast. Place must head up to the trail being at the Celia back street. There's another strolling ball, traps and a nice skeleton spawn along the way. After reaching the church of the plague, go north to the graveyard and strike the rock behind the cemetery's center to reveal the hidden cave entrance. So look for a rock to smash the hell out of. One of these guys? I I'm reading a fucking description of this place and I can't figure out where the f what the f what the fuck I need to hit up to get into it. So I have been that there's an illusionary wall that I'm supposed to break somehow. This is driving this is driving my head in. How are anyone supposed to find this except by complete after accident. Also, got to love this description. Strike the rock behind the cemetery's center. What fucking center?
There's bits of there's bits of graveyard down there. There's bits of graveyard up there. It's gotta be a. It's gotta be this place, right? Really? Okay, I guess it was just like a piece of piece of the uh, side that I somehow managed to not hit. Then okay, I thought I'd be a. Oh, I think I was hitting it up like around here or something like that, and I was like, right, let me just run. I just got a bit impatient. It was like just run away and check something. Okay. I don't think that particularly looked like a secret. A lot of the with the with the illusions, you can usually get sort of used to how they look. Like they have, like a lot of them have like a feel about them that like it just feels a bit wrong. Didn't get that, didn't get that feeling with that one. It's not doing too well. I expect it. Also, I didn't really expect the illusions here because that's more. I know this is this, these are mages we're dealing with. A bit of magic trickery wouldn't be entirely unexpected. Well, that that's one sneaked hidden. Is it? Wait, is this a mine? That's not at all where it was in the map that I... I looked at the map that was like, right, this is where it is, but that's not at all where they had marked it. I mean, I guess the... I guess like this... I mean... To be fair, they gave you kind of two hints here. Here, you got that note telling you oh, there's something behind the graveyard, right? Should lead you, like up to like the roughly this area, and I kept like feel like I heard like heard like I like, heard some kind of noise was running under the graveyard. That like, kind of like clinky, shattering crystal type of noise. Ow, 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 ow. God f damn it. I mean, one less of those, I wouldn't have died. I've caught in a really bad position. I've caught a bit of guard in a really bad position. I couldn't really start running back and I couldn't really dodge much or anything. I don't know if I particularly want to head that way though. I mean, except now that I kind of want to head that way because of my runes. I'll look over there, but if I jump over there, I have to go down to us. Okay, then. Oh, well, that reminds me why I fucking. How much I hate these fuckers. Just look at. Like what? Like what the fuck are those attacks? Oh yeah, I'm gonna just gonna learn launch myself 
It's like a hundred meters away. Out of absolutely nowhere. I barely have time to re realize what the fuck you're looking at. Well, this is definitely not where I wanted to go. I feel like a little bit like you might be sneaking up like behind that fucker that was kept shooting us. Oh no. Oh my god, can you be a little bit less more annoying? Come the f Okay. Finally, Jesus Christ. Fucking standing over there just lobbing those things at me all the time. Uh, yeah, I can grab those like five times what I can even, like 20,000 times what I can even get in here. Uh, is there anything over by you guys are at the door? Is gonna let me drop me down into the lake area? Eh, go in five. Uh, I mean, the fact that he was mining, that means this is solid. They're... I they're pretty good at key... Oh, you can just jump back over here. Uh, that makes a lot... That, that, that does make a lot of sense. Okay, the camera... F don't like... Oh, uh, don't like what the camera is doing there. Running, you have the camera right behind you coming this way, and the camera is fucking whoop, and send you right into the fucking abyss. Oh, that does that's not great. No, this is one way of the only that is just. Take control of your camera, make sure it doesn't cra crash into that at all. A great solution. Ooh. Bad, ma bad magic. Doing that. You really don't like the mountaintops area? Yeah, it's not the greatest. It's not the greatest area. Like, I feel like I, I kind of like like the. I kind of like the. I kind of like the initial section. Uh, and, or not like the. Eh, it's fine, except it's completely linear, but. I'm not sure if I even say I like this, like the mountain top specifically. Um, I mean, not my favorite area by any means, but I don't think I particularly hated it. I think in my case, I just grow grown rather tired of the game by by the time I got there. I think do that? Yeah. And I don't know, like uh right we're gonna appear again. Can I just jump back down where this was? Yeah, there's definitely a little bit of that as well. Yeah, like you, you've been working towards like a specific goal for so long. And then you get that goal and then it just moves on to something else that wasn't really foreshadowed that much at all. Um...
we wait for him where am i going again uh down here i think oh okay oh I think that at least for me, it might also be, it sort of like be that knowledge that, like when I got there, like that knowledge that like, okay, like this is the area I'm going through now, and I, there's no, like, like I can't, like if I get bored or annoyed or just want to see something else, there's like no other area to just go to. No, don't fucking Bible tempt me. Ah, this little fella. You awake in there? Ooh. It's occurring to me that I don't remember what the hell the lady want me to do with this guy. I don't rem I don't remember if she just told me to go and find, find him or if she told me to go and find and kill him. What's so this one he just gave me? I mean I can just sort it by... Yeah. Fire... Legendary sorcery fires 12 dark shooting stars that pursue the target. The sorcery can be cast while in motion, charging increased potency. And Lusat glimpsed into the primeval current, he beheld the final moment of the great star cluster. And upon seeing it, he too was broken. Alright, I think we got what we came here for. I'm sorry, what? I... I can't teleport in here? Are you... F There's... No boss? There's These places always have a boss. Is the boss hitting me another, another invisible wall? Wall, perhaps? Or another fake wall? No, it doesn't look particularly fake. Oh. That is weird. I mean, I guess... Let's say I guess he might be like... Yeah, there's no like final boss because you're here to find him, but... Even... Like, I've been... There's at least one other time where I have been in the cave to find, like, a specific person. And that time, it, there was a boss at the end. Like, maybe, like... Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this is weird. It's really weird. Able to teleport though at this I get close enough to the grace perhaps. Do I have to go all the way out, really? Okay. I grow anyone over here. Oh, I think I'm, I might. I wonder if maybe she. W I wonder if maybe she wants me to kill him. Um, we'll check it out before we start murdering people. I already made My mistake trying to murder people. Give me a moment later. I have a favor to ask. Oh, I think that was enough. The form you see before you is merely a projection. My body lies elsewhere. 
but the academy shackles ah oh, i thought my body is on the weeping peninsula at the southern tip of the land oh, yeah i know where that is i thought you were like a I'm fake version in the ruins i didn't think you were like a just a projection past the plain of can you make the journey to i have something that i can only trust with you who could have guessed what a place to find Master Lusat. Yeah, the Burgi you Queen. My gratitude. <laughs> this is all your work. I am truly pleased to have you as an apprentice. I didn't think it, I didn't even think of that. This is a mere token of my thanks. Please take it. Oh, the starlight shard. This brings us a full step closer. The bodies of Masters Azure and Lusat can be admitted to the Academy. If only I could undo these wretched shackles. My body is on the imprisoned in can you make the I have something. Right. Up down here, I think. I think the church is the closest. Man, like I think I think I found this. I think I found this version of her before I found the real version. Like this, this is like super early in the game. To now combat is like a hundred hours later. Some of the quest lines for NPCs just like you find the clues and stuff like a a bit too far apart. So to realize I haven't used I haven't used up any of the remnants I've found. None of them have had anything I've been interested in. <laughs> oh, he's fucking one shot in that fucking thing. In the good old early days of the game, and I came here and I was like, find that thing for like five minutes or something, like, you run in and out and in and out, trying desperate not to die. I'm like 20 or something to kill it, now she's like, jump, whoop, dead. I mean,. It feels a little bit weird. Like, I get that this is just because of how they scripted it, but it feels a little bit weird that she hasn't realized that I've already found her real body. My apprentice, thank you for coming. These shackles take a toll on us all. There is something I need you to look after. My primal glimstone. A star has fallen and my fortunes waver. Someone may come for my life, and so I entrust it with you, myself. Yes, I'm guessing I've arrested, arrested like. Okay, we're just gonna rip that out of the rib cage. Okay. That didn't sound particularly pleasant. Challenge Primal Glinson. <sighs> Thank you, my apprentice. This is my essence. Please treat it with care. I thought she was going to fall over dead there. Treat it. What you hold is my very being. Treated what you hold. Okay. I think if I go back to a grace, if it's like grace now, come back, she's gonna be dead. Key items. Glinson from within the source of Selm's body. Seemingly half alive, blood vessels are visible within. Ooh. In essence, a primal glinstone is a source of soul. If transplanted into a compatible new body after the initial body dies, the source will rise again. But isn't isn't there one of the isn't there like a source empty sorcerer's body up at the like the high hideaway at the 
Ronnie's mansion, mansion I think. That I found that weird praetor or praetor or whatever you were called, who deals like puppets. Oh, that's probably. Hmm. I bet I was a po I bet the reason the hero's quest then has stopped is because I didn't turn her into a puppet. <laughs> dead before it even has time to spawn in. Yep, she's rather dead. Oh, it's this fucker! Ah, well met. I hardly expected to see the champion of the festival here, of all places. You didn't know Seven, did you? Well, whatever the case, she's dead now. Just put it behind you. She was known as the Graven Witch. Obsessed by the primeval current, countless sorcerers fell to her hand. The most dangerous mage in the entire history of Rhea Lacaria's academy. Yeah, that's uh, definitely up at the mansion. It is strange, though. The woman, she was like a husk. Her soul already fled. I suspect Selen lives on elsewhere. What? Sure she would turn up eventually. No, she would body. never. A sickening thought, but one that won't stop gnawing at me. Yeah, don't worry. This world is going to burn down in a couple of weeks anyway. I suspect Selen. I'm sure she'll t a sickening. That won't be your problem anymore. Um, is she gone from here now? Suspect she's gonna be gone from here as well. Although you no oh although you Yeah she's gone, okay. Oh. Like usually the NPC symbol disappear when by himself. I don't have to visit visit them, but okay. Uh Yeah Right. Oh, yeah, and also realize this area over here like I don't feel like I've been over in this area of the Real Cory Academy at all. But I have no idea how to fucking get there. Maybe we can like go from here and do something like across, maybe like across the rooftops or something. This is like wandering around like it's exploring and this is one of the areas I have. This is just like you go from like uh the school one of the areas go from like this one I think. And then you go like straight into the underground. So that's a bit weird. Um I can, yes, yeah, this one's the one that's like down. Well, I think it would actually, might have been quicker to go to the boss room. Yeah, I think if it's this one that has the cellar in it. Oh, there's a mage up there, you can't be bothered killing him. I don't think he would fall me down here, so I'm assuming she don't... Yep, there's the... Uh, the Alucaria... One that I'm assuming that's the one she would want me to put it into. My apprentice. Just how long has it been? Thank you. You've helped me fill a new body once again, and it's truly a gem. Young and full of vigor, a snug fit for my primal glimstone. Better still, I've shed those awful shackles. Finally, I can return to the Academy to expel the Karian royal family and restore the primeval current. My dear apprentice. I'm sure this won't get go anywhere bad at all. Finally, I can return to the Academy to expel the Karian royal family and restore the primeval current. She's like trying to I mean, I kind of would like to. I'm not gonna. I don't plan to be using it, but I would like kind of like to 
keep that um keep the option of rebirth there it's like so, uh, the rebirth fee rebirth feels like a rather important mechanic that they wouldn't let you just fuck up well like they even stop you from fucking attacking anyone in here You can choose either assist sorcerer cell sorcerer cell or challenger. I feel like if I challenge her, I'm gonna basically break her quest line and stop but keep the rebirth. And if but if I assist her, I'm gonna lose the rebirth. I mean, that lady killed their Bok. Let, let's avenge Bok. Jeren, bringer of my death. You oh. Have my gratitude for freeing me from my shackles. And I know the work is done. Join the school to reflect on your mistake. It did just occur to me that I probably should have waited to attack him that heavily until I had let him have his little speech. Oh, I should have visited him as well. God damn it. Eccentric's hood. Eccentric's armor. Little bit heavy, bit more protection. The hood hides an aged bearded mask. Jaren served General Radan as a guest commander. And they are said to have sworn an oath of honorable death to one another. Well, that didn't go as planned, did it? <laughs> How does this, uh, I'm assuming this is more or less the same. Jaren preferred a nomadic existence, but after spending time as a guest of the Karen royalty, royals, became a guest commander of General Rodan. For the first time, the restless Tumbleweed would be bound by an honorable oath. Okay, this we're not having a cape. So many pieces of clothing in this game that includes a cape that feels weird to not have it. Um, so yeah, I'm guessing that's the option of rebirth gone. Box still dead. Ah, my apprentice. You've saved my skin once again. Do you see this? The Queen of Caria is no more. With the bodies of Masters Azure and Lusat returned, the Academy can hone the primeval current. So that we, fallen children of the stars, shall beam with brilliance once again. My apprentice, will you stay with us here at the Academy? Oh, I know it's not possible. You have your own calling to be the next Elden Lord. But do think of me, of your teacher. On the eve of your crowning, you will always be my darling pupil. Rest assured that I... No. The entire Academy will swear allegiance to the new monarch. My apprentice. Become Elden Lord. That's some bad news about me becoming Elden Lord. I like the entire world's gonna burn a little bit when that happens. Perhaps I'm jumping ahead, but here is a symbol of my allegiance and the Academy's. Oh, nice. Do you recall what once I told you 
that glimstone is the amber of the cosmos, and sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein. When you become Elden Lord, please illuminate me. Lay bare the secrets of life which course the Elden Ring. Next time, I will be your student. I thought this question would have made a little bit more sense if I had, you know, used magic, like, at oh, all. One last thing. If you fail to claim your throne, you can always pay me a visit. Oh, don't fret. Even my dullest pupils will always have a place here. Wow. Even my dullest people will always have a police out place. Thanks for that parting shot. Have a little bit of a look around. Uh, I think I'm starting to run out of stuff that I wanted to test. I wanted to check out. We moved on. Just the noise of those bastards upstairs. I think I almost need to run through like, the entire place and look for any book, any empty bookcases. Oh, right, it's that fella, right. You're having an honorable duel here. Fuck off, my dude. Uh, right, because I was yeah, I was running through here, just exploring a little bit early in the week. Found another secret, just like behind another empty bookcase. But there's gonna be quite a few more of them that I had just missed. Um, let's just jump back out here. Ooh. No. No, I cannot. I mean, I, I could. I just needed to either jump a little bit later or actually not drop down to where there was a safe, safe little spot to run on. Wait. Why the fuck is she back? Ah, now. Is it thy wish? Be not, I would but. Selen? Which is Glintstone Crown? Talent? Did you t did you get turned up fucking ball face? My oh yeah, look at that. There's her face in the middle there. I... Right about my anchor there. Well then. Uh her plans to take this place over didn't go entirely as planned, huh? It's like my plans of jumping across that gap. Well, I have finished her. Her plans had a bit, of, bit more, a cons, bit more consequence. <laughs> I've checked underneath it, right? I also just. It up when I die again. Yep, that's just a, that is death. Uh, I think my rune's gonna be on top of the ladder again, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, right, even if I jumped onto that safe spot there, I would have just gotten like down one floor. Oh, huh, okay.
not sure my idea to be a my idea of just jumping down immediately after I just died from jumping down. Also the smartest move. Was well thought out. Ooh, fuck me, just fucking half my health there. I mean, to be fair, it did catch me mid-air, so I th would assume does do more damage. That looks rather suspicious. Have I just never gone over here? No, I've been this way before. Or have I? Oh! No, I just never. I guess I just never fucking jumped down there. I mean, a fucking blind boy. Yeah, look at this and that. Yeah. Right, so this I finally realized I was still being attacked. I bet, I bet this takes me to the part of the map that I what really card I haven't been to yet. Oh, stop doing stop doing that, please. Stop, stop. Uh, I also know there is a section of the volcano manor I haven't been in. Um, I I saw some other streamers. I, I opened up on I was someone else who was streaming Elden Ring. I was like, eh, "It's no volcano. It's inside the volcano manor. I'll watch that. I've been I've been through there." And I, and I opened the stream. I was like, "I haven't seen this section yet at all." Crap! I missed something. Um, I don't know. How how is in there? I'm, ass I'm assuming that is what connects up to locked doors up in the manor itself. And basically, like, basically gets into the manor instead of getting you just out in the altus plateau. Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and guess there's like another path in the lava that there that I can take. Uh, cause I didn't explore, I didn't explore much in the lava, just cause the enemies there were a bit tough. And, oh, nice meteor bolts. And honestly, like, the, like I, the lava kind of scared me. So I think I might have overestimated, I mean, I definitely was overestimating how scared the lava was. Cause I was, like, I was definitely sort of afraid of taking the damage from lava. When it didn't necessarily do, do that much damage, so how did I get up there? I need to fuck about jumping down here. I mean, right now we have to kind of a one way, one way express down here. Uh, no, if I can drop down and get across there and in, perhaps we'll see. Yeah, I, I haven't been in this area at all. I think I mean just, I don't mean just like just the rooftops. What was sketchy? Be careful to jump around up here. I... I'd be careful about jumping around when you have your character like literally built around jumping around. Not the greatest. I think I might have Going us slightly wrong, but it might have been a different path I could take up there somewhere to get, get me up to like that section right there. Good for that fucker up there, I guess. I'd have to go through like this a second time. It's a lot easier to go through this now, now though, with how overpowered 
just feel the overpower my character is for this area. Interesting that now they give me a ladder to get back up again. Interesting. Another, another imbued sword key. Uh, that I think is all three of them actually. I should be able to open all three of the belfries. All three of the four belfries. <laughs> uh, that. What? What is that? Is that a sh No, that doesn't look like a shortcut. There's a ladder back going back up again, so I might as well climb down and just check what it's all about. Especially considering I can't. Let's just check what this is all about. It's a little bit of a longer climb back up than I would have liked, but. Only that because I'm assuming, yeah. Oh, grabs! Okay. Oh, it's just somber smithing stone. That's what's in here. Okay. Yeah, maybe I could have made this out a bit short, but I'm, eh, it's not that bad. It looks a lot worse than it actually is. Na 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 Batman! Oh, well, don't mind me. Uh, one. Ooh! Bird helmet, nice! I haven't gotten that one yet. I think. Yeah, this is just something to the church. One thing that is a little annoying right now is that to be able. If I want to get back up here again, I need to run all the way around. Or, I mean, I could either just teleport back up. And fight all the enemies around again to get to that one there to hopefully get that area that I hadn't that I didn't go to. Or I can fight my way back through like the business entire fucking dungeon. Now to be fair, I can probably run past most of most of it. Oh, Vintage Helmet, nice. I can probably just run past most of it. Uh, and just quickly dispatch anything that I do have to fight. So I, you know, again, I am a, a little bit overpowered. Oh. And they haven't been up here either, okay. Oink. So I could have jumped up there and there is another, there's another item up there as well, so I think we are going another round. So I forget how I want to get, how I want to do the other round. So how, how do the people actually live here get up here? Or have they just like built up the place around themselves and like, oh, this is where I live now. Never mind, there's a bridge here. I can go across. Oh, it's one of those fuckers! The pages are fucking terrifying with their rapid shooting crossbows. Yes, yeah, Sir Glint and stuff. Why do I feel like this might possibly be a result? 
talking of messing around with the primal current before as well. And that's the same as what Selen will turn into. Yeah, still no, still no way to actually get up to this upper floor though. That is come from above. Um, did, we, did we just teleport? I think that is the easiest solution. Uh, let's make this debate parlor the close location, I think. Okay, so we can just go through the door now. Um, if they're dropping anything, I Yeah, I want to get up to. What? Oh, I did. I just never see this. Oh, I just not. I noticed this. No, no, I know. Was up here. Think, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was up here. <laughs> Look at him just jumping in between the cage and cage and the tower, so he can't get back out again. <laughs> oh, sucker. So how do we get on that rooftop over there then? Oh, they need to run. Oh, maybe I need to run around that this way. And jump across there. Now. That gets me into like the base of this building and maybe there's like a lift up to the top. This be the all that seems to be the only reasonable way because I can't Shh, I can't climb up this at all from where I'm at right now. So I'm sure not missing any obvious ladders. No, I don't think so. Uh there's a giant ladder on the inside though. Um, okay, let's, let's try again. Let's be look out for a like, loop around. Oh, need to get up there. How the? F I can't just jump from here. I think here. That going that way. This is for sure too far to jump, right? No, jumping was the right choice. Okay. me yes you are i shouldn't lock onto you i think you're one of those guys that might be jumping around a little bit more than i would like what so, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry what kind of invaders are you expecting to come from this direction uh, from the from far out 
What if made you expect to come riding on some like, kind of flying creature? And this was a rather long ladder, huh? Hmm, those boots are, those boots actually kind of reminds it's like the chunk is of them kind of reminds me of the uh of the boots uh uh Arthur's has in Warcraft 3. Like when you just like when he has have just been like a death knight. And he cuts in. Oh, uh, some more areas over there that I, I can get by doing the same jump that I want to should check out as well. Okay, apparently I just got rather lucky the first time. The first time, I guess. One, one more run. If nothing else, at least just to get my runes back. Do I need the runes? No. Do I want them? Yes. I'll just try to I'll just ignore these. It takes like half a second to kill them, so I probably sh shouldn't ignore them. I don't think that this is going to come and bite me now. Uh, I kind of have to kill at least this archer guy so that I can get up the ladder in peace. You want to grab that? Thank you. Uh, kill the sorcerer guy and ignore the rest. I need more sorcery guy as well. I guess I was just really. L I guess I was just really late in jumping the first time, and the second time I was like. I got, even got scared like the second time around and jumped way too early. Fancy, fancy crab. Oh, is that like a okay, another another Burger King helmet? Okay. Yeah, I guess it's more of a Burger Queen. Ah, oh, that's what this room was for, because we went to drop down here. That makes so much sense, because there was really nothing in there. Now, can you just stop knowing that I'm here now? That makes so much sense. Right, there was another item up at the church here as well. Just pop over and grab. Are the source is is the source still fucking after me? Something still after me. Fuck. Maybe I, sh I shouldn't have been running so much. Not cooperating here. So, okay, at least that one has something on it. So, if you just. Okay, first off, we grab the thing that's actually up on these beams. And drop down one level and grab the thing on the front. Or we can just completely fuck that entire thing up. Um, well, it's, like, it's like a dark blue as well, which I 
pink usually means it's like an actual item, not just some random crap. I'm tempted to just leave that alone. But... God, that's a fucking run back. Just because, just because I fucked up the jump there. Maybe should... One second. Oh, look at that. It's a natural one, bird gangs. Obviously, that's the key. Obviously, that's the queen. Is, is that supposed to be Salen? Or is that what? Is that maybe that? Like, I mean, she's right next to the queen. So, is, is that like what Princess Ronin looked like before she changed her body? I'm going to make one more run. If I, if I fuck this up, I'm just going to be like, eh, I'm about to get that item. How, like, how, how important can it be? There's plenty of other items I missed as well. Death from above. Let me just skedaddle in here. Line the beams up properly this time and carefully. And here we go, that's the way you do it. That hard you that hard you just have to be a bit more careful. That's where you get the second academic glinstone key from? Jesus Christ! I mean, okay, at least finally I solved that problem. This guy's been waiting for his key for a while. Uh, I mean, you had to get surprisingly far in the academy to get that, though. Also, I thought that was going to be something you found out, out in like, the open world. I think the loading, screen, I think the loading might have just fucked itself. So a little bit worrying considering I just picked up an item. That was worth it to go back for, though. And there the game crashed. Wonderful. Oh, apparently 31% of players have managed to kill Melania. That's... Honestly, that's surprisingly high, considering how hard she was. As for, and I think she's optional? Like, she, like, she felt very optional. Like, you kind of like a, oh, you can go and kill her if you want, like, a lot of extra chance. Like, that whole area felt, like, like it was like, right, you are going to be by, at the end game before you get here, and you can just skip it. Like, it was made... Way a lot harder than it might have been. 
don't you just love games that tells you like that's you like tell them like hey yeah make sure you yeah I just love when the game tells you what the game tells you like hey make sure you exit the game properly last time instead of just closing the game it's like I didn't exactly choose to cl just close the game and just kind of crashed. We should get a read on Melania, just for testing different tactics versus her. I mean... I, f I feel like if your character is NG+, like if you got the character into NG+, it's not gonna be that hard to get back to her. I'm, I'm, th I'm talking like if you just want like com completely rush it down and not take in any of the story story anymore or anything. Back to learn another. Why, of course. Are you certain you're willing to give your glintstone key to me? My oh my. Thank you. I mean, it's a spare Thank one, you, so dearly. why not? Now I can go back to the academy. To resume my study of glintstone sorceries. And the very stars. <laughs> oh my god. Back to learn another. Why, of course. Thank you. With you a blessing. Or perhaps one. Who knows? I may. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother looking. I'm not gonna bother looking for him in there. Like maybe if I ever do a second playthrough, I'm not, I mean, I'm not gonna stream that, probably. Um, if I ever do a second playthrough, I'm, I'll probably... Did I? Yeah, kill this. Yeah, kill this guy. I will... I will probably do... do I'll probably search through, search through the academy properly. Try to, find, try to find him if he's moved on. So, finally... I need to remember, I need to f remember where the other one is as well. Uh, sure. I'll sort these ones to capture. Edition, there we go. No? Oh, no. oh, never mind, it's there. There's one other tower that also had erudition written on it. I don't remember which of them it was. Need anything useful out of this? Let's see. Emery Song, which I don't need. I mean, it would be really useful for a mage. I feel like I mostly gotten mage stuff, mage stuff out of these right, out of these towers. Was it this? Was it this one? And that's one of the. That is one of the towers that I did check out. Another one in Dragon Bar doesn't have this. Have this because that that one you can just jump into. Um, am I on the right way at all? North and east? Yeah. I think this is the air addition one, which would make sense. And the two towers are in the Rea Lucaria air area, is the two that you require the Rea Lucaria e emote for. What? 
I mean, it feels a bit weird. We're standing in the right place. It's a little weird for both two of them to have the exact same puzzle. I feel like there's something you can use like air air dish like out here somewhere. Also, find I just never dropped on here. In the text, this one was slightly different, I believe. Oh, this feels no. A little bit important for a while, but I guess not. seeing anything I think I'm just too small brain for these puzzles Yeah, like over there. Okay. Um, honestly, I don't like these puzzles at all. I can't be bothered trying to figure it out. Uh, let's just head over to the Belfries and open the two remaining portals. The, with the two keys we got now. It fit, like I was for a while. I was I was thinking like you might you might only be able to unlock like one of these portals each each new game plus. Which felt we felt wrong, but I, I mean I couldn't find other keys, so yeah. Apparently that's not how we do it. Okay. Doesn't matter which order we do this it is in now, since I got two keys and two remaining portals in lock. The precipice of anticipation. Hello, Braxton. How are we doing? Welcome in. Da, da, da. How are you doing? What what have we been up to? I'll, I'll open another portal when I, I can go back, when I get back and can use it. Oh! That's how we get back here. Okay. Fuck! <laughs> oh, that's how we get back here immediately falls my death. Alrighty then. <laughs> oh, that sounds nice. I'll be at a lovely birthday party then. Or rather, your dad had a lovely birthday party. Okay, let, okay. Don't go. Don't go out onto the rock that just breaks away. I wasn't really worried when it broke because I was like. Any other time I encounter like breaking rocks, it's always like drop me down to safe location. Let's assume that was what was going to happen this time as well. Nope. Um, 
Pick up my runes. We head on here. Uh, you've been playing some of this on the two, right? What kind of playthrough are you going for there? Like high chaos or just chilling? And not be a nice guy. Well, is there anything? I mean, it's cool to be back here. Is there going to be anything other than that spider ish type of boss creature that we going to murder instantly? And this boss is just going to absolutely melt now. <laughs> Almost making one drop the boss. Nice. Ornamental straight sword and golden beast crest shield. Nice. Uh, I've been replaying games that have historically been that have historically have brought more viewers. Oh, okay. Is this honored one of the is this honored one of those games or like I uh, sneaky games do well for you? Yeah. I think I was doing pretty well when I was streaming Thief, but I I feel like I kind of burnt. I think I p kind of just outplayed Thief, well, grown out a bit. Um, I streamed like three, four, five hundred hours of that game. So, it was a bit honest, most of that was fan missions, but still, that was a lot more than I usually play any any game at all, even multiplayer games. Um, then again, that, back, back when I was streaming Thief, I was also, also had a much more uh, stable schedule. I don't think you get anything other than here and, here and being this... Yeah, I don't think you get anything here other than those two items and the satisfaction of getting back here. Nice. Well, can you get up there? Oh, it's a giant open window and that's a chest. Yep, yeah. the answer is yes. Oh, I bet that door is locked on a new character when you first here. It would be weird if we could just go up here and grab these. The Stormhawk King. As well as the Stormhawk that Dean. Okay. Items, ashes. But you can't sort ash. For whatever reason, you can't sort ashes. Spirit of fierce hope that faithfully rendered lifelong service to the old king of Stormvale long ago, when the true storm raged. Its cries and boldness fell within battle, and tempestuous winds that encircled it, sh it shredded through foes. Ooh. Uh, what's the other one I got? I reason the re reason decided to do more retro games, just to find some so that work for you. Yes, it can be kind of hard to find something that that you like, as as well something that brings people in, especially if you want to. Even if you don't want to be stuck to like a one single game. Wait, what's, what, was the, what was the other one I got? I got another, I got another Ashes as well.
Hello, Blackbird, how are you doing? You've always said that we should spice up our love life. What do you mean? I asked. She said, let's do a bit of role playing. I'll be the doctor and you'll be the patient. All right. I went, went with it. How are you, doctor? You have no available appointment until November. Goodbye. <laughs> I must say, I haven't, I can't, I haven't really ever had problems getting a doctor's appointment. I can't, I can't find that. Oh, there, was it this one? I guess it was. Huh. I also picked up some weapons and stuff. That's... At least, these are, at least I can just sort. Out of fallen from grace, the dregs of the golden lineage sought power and purpose in the past. Cross the two... Wait, two sword? Slender straight sword pattern after an antique ornament. Superior swordsmen prefer to wield one in each hand. Cross the two swords to grant their attacks holy essence while in face strong attacks perform dual wielding combos. Okay. And also the shield didn't die. Shield of dull gold with beast and grades as it crests. Lighter than most great shield and subsequently easy to wield. The beast depicted is Serosh, aged counselor who guides the golden lineage. That doesn't seem particularly great, but okay. Quite nice to get back here for a little while. Let's pop I guess one more belfry to pop through. I feel like one benefit with the retro games is that they usually they're not too long. So you don't get like just stuck on one game for like months at a time. Like what I've been like this game. I get I mean I guess there is plenty of old role-playing games as well though. I guess they just don't didn't This just don't come to they just don't come to first to mind when I'm talking about role-playing games, I guess. Hmm. Wait a second. Aha uh ha! That's how you get up here. Well, I'm not up there yet. Hmm. I don't think I don't think this is like the real part of. Mm, okay, right. Yeah, I don't think this is the, like the real section of the of this part of the uh, Eternal City because all the airs I got into from the belfries have all been all been like really short. Yeah, it's just gonna be the area out here. That's a little bit disappointing. So I'm guess if you get up there, like maybe you get a maybe that's where you get f maybe that's where you get like at the at the end of the game, perhaps.
what do we have here? I'm just gonna buff up just in case. An enemy. Of in the bushes. Oh, it's one of the. It's a like crucible knight. This is an, it's a fucking awful place to fight one of these guys. That's a new move. Too bad for him. I am sickly overpowered by by this for this fight though. Crystal Knights are one of my favorite fights. Like it's kind of like a it's like a fairly simple boss, but I just really appreciate how how like how like all attacks are like neatly. Um. Um, oh god, what's this, what's the name for it, for a thing? Um, like they show they show really well like all the attacks, and it's just like it's just like a matter of learning all the moves and learning the tricks how to how to how to avoid them, and just not fucking up for a while. Law, it's definitely a fight that I feel works better when you are a, maybe a little bit under leveled, uh, as opposed to being severely over leveled right, like right now. Right, so that was the Belfries. I think that is. Oh, we do have the man. Do you have? Do you want to bother going through the manor? That's where Lord Bless me. Is. Um. R Can I get up to the upper volcano? Can I get up to the, like a proper volcano area from here? No, 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 this is, this is the wrong place. Um, subterranean inquisition, inquisition, inquisition chamber, perhaps? I mean, it should be, at least, if nothing else, there should be a. Yeah, this is the one I was thinking of. Uh, questions, can I go like backwards from this? There might have been some one-way drops. Uh, we m yeah. I came down from up there, okay. You have to go in the back entrance through the old-fashioned way. I believe Skula's classroom is the closest one. I was thinking of kidnapping one of the uh, maidens again. One of the bloody maidens. Or the virgins? I don't remember what they're called. Uh, there's a, yeah, it's like uh, some, any, yeah, some enemies here, like if they. Gr there's like an enemy at the bottom of this elevator here. If it drops you, it will teleport you to that. Yeah, I was just in. Think I can. I think I can just sit and wait for the. No, I think I have to jump off a bit early, don't I? Cause the it's a fair. Like it drops me up pretty far. Yeah, I think I have to jump off here. Cause it drops me quite far off. Right, the, the distance from. Oh, yeah, I think the. Yeah, I mean, it's not turning enough to drop you. It's still quite far down, I think. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that, yeah, that's gonna be a lethal fall. Sure. Um. So I think it's just a matter of letting this fella here grab me. It's a bit too hard. I do love hugs. Nope. Don't do that. Hug, not murder. Come on. You guys love her. There we go.
Uh, are you? Are you an idiot that he killed me? Okay, you just sit back and let it kill me then. Just gonna hope. I'm just gonna hope this is not a one-time thing. Right, so the thing is like, uh, oh, okay, it's a fucking one-time thing. That's annoying. Uh, because it's like a thing. If you let that thing grab you, at least when you get it the first time, it teleports you up into the up into the volcano itself. Uh, the place that I cannot get back to right now. And I suspect I might have missed out on some stuff up there. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Running this, I mean, it's not like the lava does a lot of, ton of damage. It slows it down a lot. Uh, yeah, it seems like the grabbing and teleporting is a one time deal. Because you're like, yeah. It's annoying. Um, really, like, mm, I don't know, now I can't teleport because these guys don't know I'm here. This way a little bit should be enough to just slow it off my back. No? There you go. The slow shouldn't be able to fool me this far at least. Let's check if any maybe anything has changed about the volcano manor then. There's definitely more to this place. I just don't know how to access it. Uh, that door's blocked shut. What? what? And I can't attack anything up here. Yeah, I feel like I, I definitely fucked something up with this quest on here. I just don't know how, what, because there's, there's definitely more to the manor. There's definitely more to the manor. I wasn't really looking for fake walls in there because I couldn't attack, but no, you just have to you have to roll to unlock it, which I... I don't remember, I think... Was it Dark Souls 1 you attacked? Dark, I think in Dark Souls 2 you had to roll to, to uh, open secret walls or fake walls. You could, you actually couldn't attack. I mean, obviously you could attack them, it just didn't do anything. I know there's one behind me, I'm just ignoring it for now.
Was this another one that you, is that another one you can open up? No, it's just this is another one that's blocked off. Which twenty one? Oh, and that gets into this room. Okay. The Prey Perfumer Karma. Ooh. Oh, do, 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 do. one day I'll make sure. One day I'll remember to actually look at what I pay attention to what they look like for close nay menu. The Prey Perfumers practice their art for themselves alone. Karman was a notable, formidable perf perfumer whose strength rivaled that of heroes. And he said he was in search of a secret physics of verification. Okay. Can I open that? Okay. Right, block chat in this case meaning it doesn't open at all. Why this one not this one can't be opened? Sounds like it's like right behind a fireplace? It's out of curiosity, I don't think it will do anything. But yeah, there's another one there, right? They just blocked off a bunch of these of these of the original ways to get into those back back rooms. Okay, okay. So I could have, I could have opened that ages, ages ago. I thought, I kind of just ignored it because I just sort of assumed it would op open up as part of the Volcano Man and quest line. Oh, I bet that this is like a way to get to Peter Reichardt without actually doing all the murdering. How annoying these bloodhounds can be if they want to stun a single hit. Jumping all over the place. Oh, I'm liking the music, I like just very like. It's very, it's very like ominous music right here. In fits. I mean, what's going on in this, in this place? Hello? Not into a chapel, okay. So I'll sit and see what this one's called. The Prison Town Church. Ooh. They, are they running a prison inside a volcano? That, that doesn't seem like a nice place to be imprisoned. Well, this is a side of the Volcano Man that we haven't seen before. Me like. Yeah, because I could see all of this shit from... Because I think I was like a... Where the hell was I? Right, I was down there is where you spawn in when you get the teleport. And then you can like look over here and see like this stuff over here. Never got to. Is there anything up here? Where does this go? Oh, it's like a bridge you can race. Okay. I guess that's gonna be like a short a shortcut back. Yeah, it looks like we might not be going on to the final area for today. Oh, snakes! Big, big fat snakes! Oh, I. I didn't, like, when, I, when they said prison, like, prison town, I honestly I wasn't really expecting, like, a town town. It was just, like, more like a... I, I don't know what I was what I was expecting, honestly. I just kind of expecting, like, a... I wasn't expecting, like, an actual town. Like, streets and everything.
Can you? Oh, God. I am not a fan of these enemies. Oh, doggy, you don't get to murder me. Fuck off, dog. Oh, that dog was coming at the end of a bad time. Mind if I do? Smith, some Smith on six. Okay, there's a lot of, there's a lot of rooftop stuff here. I feel like maybe exploring the rooftops first and then moving on down like the street level, is a sensible way of doing it. In that case, I think we we'll explore up there first. Something back this way. What's the like the highest point of the place? Ignoring the human kind of deal. Ouch, 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 ouch. Ouch. Stop, stop, stop chucking poison at me. Uh, over there. So it's easy to get to. Okay, I guess this is like pretty much like the only way I can get over on that, around that thing. I, get, I have to jump down. Um, no, no, we can run up there, put on that roof, and then drop down. I think that's a better order to do things in. Poison. This bottle's hurt, okay? This is some, looks like there's some kind of boss store over there. That's cool. There's some more stuff going on. Yeah, this, this looks like a cool place. But I'm glad I decided to go here, though. And if it's not going to be the... Alrighty then, I guess we're exploring the street level a bit. Not exactly my plan. Woman killer type. Okay. They're just gonna be showing up all, o all over the place. Yeah, the great Omen killer keep. I already got one of those. In the back alley. There are beetles somewhere, it's driving me nuts. Can't I just go and fight the boss? But let's just make our way back up against. It's not really down there, we might as well explore, right? Get it. Getting some uh, Anor Lon not not Anor Londo, new Lo new Londo vibes there, I have to say, if you know, not underwater. Earthy seal. Like that's and that's for talis That's like a talisman. Drink, believe. Hello, Bailover. How are you doing? Welcome in. Oh, forty feet. That's a high level one, huh? A formless sacred seal decorated with the Erdry Crest wants to focus of religion in the lands between. Even though the Elden Ring is shattered and the Erdry has stolen from its former radiance, Ernest Fate continues to hold the answers. How are you, how are you doing, Bella? Right? You're still in Mexico, right? Or have you gone, come back home now? I don't know if I didn't manage to grab that one before falling down, but oh well. Oh, 
no, it's an imp gate, it's not a boss gate. Okay. Op open sesame. Come on. Had a couple of hard drinking days. Okay. That fog does quite a bit of damage if I'm standing in it. The actual uh, poisoning itself isn't too important. Oh, nice. So in Mexico, going to Amsterdam on Thursday and staying over the weekend and then going home. Oh, nice. I'm assuming there's not going to be a whole lot of 17th of May parades in Mexico, is there? Oh, let me back here. There we go. Okay, the lower part of the city wasn't as big as I kind of thought it was, was going to be. You try to find missing that. Ooh, that's why. I mean, if you want to sell, if you want to sell, if you want to celebrate in any way, you can just buy some ice cream. This can be like 90% of the way there, anyway. Did that one fall down? I did, and there's the there's the fucking thing. There's the fucking beat that I've been that I've been hearing for the last ten minutes. I don't have to choose between getting that one and getting this one. That was not the right choice. Oh, a section I didn't go into. Okay. Into the lava part, lower lava part. Hmm. I don't. Oh, this is stone. Ah, bit of a piece of it of wood. I don't feel like a wooden bridge would do well here. Ah, uh, no, I haven't seen him for a while. Now, to, now that you mention it. Just a little bit, because he, pre he he's one of those people who pretty much always stopped by when I was streaming this as well. Uh, you must, uh, he always tended to pop by, so yeah. I'm not sure if, I mean, sure hope doesn't, something, nothing has happened to him. Definitely took the convoluted path there. So I could go this way and head over there. Explore the lower part of the city first. Ah, 
accountable for... Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, more this way. A lot of going up. Hmm. I could have gotten up, like I don't know if I would jump down lower if I could have gotten back up again. Yes, this is a weird fucking enemy. Like, I guess this is a, this is a, I mean, I guess this is a prison town. Although well, why? It seems like all the prisoners are all generics. Yes. The kind of white blood. Oh, I'm not sure what that implies. Like not a quick poke up at a roof though. I feel like I explore. I feel like I drop, maybe drop down a little early. Or maybe I had explored pretty much everything up here. Ah, but there's another little, another little way in that actually gets the exact same spot. Okay. But yeah, weird that he hasn't answered any of your whispers. Uh, out of curiosity, did you whisper him on Discord or on Twitch? I don't know how... I don't know how much he uses his Discord, but I mean, if he hasn't been in any streams on Twitch, I would assume he hasn't been on really on Twitch at all. And he wouldn't have seen the message. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I had that on. on. on Twitch, okay. I mean, it might be a, it might be worth to drop a message on Discord as well. Um. I don't know what this Discord is. Okay, I mean that's a good point. Uh, I mean, I would have assumed. Yeah, uh, I just sort of assumed that he had joined your Discord. But I mean, I guess not. I'm sorry, what the fuck? And then the snake comes in. After I'm done getting a full face massage. How oh, nice of the snake to just make sure I had a look out at the balcony though. Like, hey, don't, maybe you got a great balcony out here. Don't, better not miss it. Some cool items on it. Like cool, cool items and cool items going explosive great vault at least. How much can this open up? Yes it can. I am definitely for sure way overpowered for this area. 
Uh, particularly mind just like after that whole Melania fight, I don't particularly mind just a nice, chill, relaxing stroll through a place where I can just kill everything. It's gonna, be, it's gonna make it a little bit rough when I get back to a place where I'm actually gonna have to fight for my life, though. Uh, I think if, I think if we just don't go close. He's not gonna do. He's not gonna notice me. Yeah, he has renamed to something else. Uh, he he goes by. I'll say rename. I think he might have created another account to kind of avoid the ban or something. Um. Uh, but yeah, he goes by Double Douche. That's, that's his account name. But I, but I think I'm pretty much the only one who actually calls him by that name. Everyone who knows him knows him by the old name. Still calls him Pleb. I think one of the reasons I call him Double is just because I, I didn't actually realize it was it wasn't get it. When he first joined, I was I didn't realize it was pleb. So it's got confused to call him in double instead. I'm surprised the lava slugs actually have white flesh. I don't have. I'm surprised they have flesh at all to eat. I thought it had all been charred away at some point. I'm trying to say that the uh, lava slugs don't seem like a particularly meaty type of enemy. It's like a particularly meaty slug. The body seems like it's like 90% lava anyway. Should be very spicy to eat. Very spicy. Uh, definitely not recommended to eat. Wait, Twitch Messenger doesn't have timestamps? Hmm, never noticed that. I assume Twitch and everything had timestamps these days. Sounds like it just feels like one of these those things that I don't know why we would not want it. I mean, I guess technically it clutters chat up a little bit. I wish I much prefer to just have them on at all time. I think I have... Okay, they get to those and I drop them from up there. Um, oh, there's a whole little separate thing in there. Um, I should remember to go and come back to it, I guess. Uh, am I looking right at it? Yes. I put a marker there as a bit, as just to remind myself, hey, some shit there. Okay, getting a lot of, getting a good amount of smithing stones there. This would be a great place to go around the time of Altus Plateau, I think. Yeah, I know he was... I know he was very active around like... Easter and a week or two after at least. There. Let's 
start with this, I think. This looks like an elevator. Goes takes me down. Okay. Good to know. It says more of a thing for getting up and not for getting down, but I can just drop down. Still, nice nice to have it there. No, that's an option. Oh, one of these fellas. A non boss version this time, okay. Oh god, I'm standing in the fucking, fucking lava there. Is just gonna vomit all the way over from himself. Ooh, that's almost in his little vomit lake. The vomitorium. Ooh. I was thinking of just running in and chopping him up. I am really glad I didn't, because I think he might have caught me with that slam before he died. I think that might have ended up being like a mutual kill. I just gone for it. Uh, crap, that's a one way. That's a one way drop. Fuck. Just back into town, okay. Exactly what I was expecting to get, but. This got to be something. Also, not a cage right there that I can take to get up, okay. And now I want to try this. Might this gonna hurt a bit? I think flame resistance helps. So just pop that on. Especially since I got a plus two now. A uh, great idea would have been to jump from there. And like half the distance. It turns out I'm not exactly the smartest person around, so. Into do none of that. Hmm, you got a lot less damage from that than I had expected, to be perfectly honest. Shorten that jump a little bit. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's take the cage up and see where we end up at. Well, one thing I'm realizing that I'm kind of excited about is that I haven't. No, there, no, there was another race over there. I was getting a little bit excited since I hadn't. I didn't feel like I had gotten a a race in a while. Uh, this might be a place for some good shortcuts, but nah. Oh, that one grace that I found. For, I suppose I want to explore the area down here. First order of business is going to be to mess up this guy's day. That's, that's a black flame. Oh. Okay. I guess this place is very associated with black flame and the... A god killing flame, then. That looks like it might be a boss room. Just, oh god, I thought I saw a cliff there. 
just gonna push this and open a bit of a shortcut. This is a good time to jump down off that path, like off that path uh, in the side of the lava as well. Yeah, actually, from like the middle of the city. I'm sure that's not nice and hot at all. Yeah, let me just let me just jump on this glowing hot metal straight away. What could possibly go wrong? Also, and I'm sure this is most. I oh, just drop it cooling. Sure. I'm sure this is mostly just for aesthetic purposes, but why the fuck we have a bridge like this? Why would you attach it to a bunch of rocks instead of just having the metal? I mean, I feel like the metal on this thing would be heavy enough as it is. Right, uh, I need to take another quick break. I'll be right back. We'll explore some more. Oh, some button pushing there. Realize I didn't put on the. Actually, didn't, I didn't actually put on the new item I found. So I found this. So I just think it's a bunch of things. Okay. Uh, sensory from the others. So how does this compare, though? Is it just like straight up better? No, it raises all of them, but it does a lot less than the others. I must, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that it like it basically raises them the same amount, or this roughly the same amount. Just is it, is that it raises all three instead of uh, uh, all three it raises three out of four instead of only one. It spreads numbers numbers out a bit more. Uh, I don't know how many places you have a need for like to have spread or stuff like that. Usually, some like usually an area has just like one ma major thing they're doing. But I guess like maybe you don't want to be switching resistance salmon all the time. Oh, I just fucked up there. Uh, I don't think there's anything up there. Well, this graveyard has seen better days. It's like lava skeletons down here. Oh god, oh fuck. That's not... I need to find an actual opening. Oh, it's thunder, is it? No, it's got, it's got baby pots with him. Um, should we, I should really be murdering these babies, but just... 
out of courtesy, hoping that this is uh, maybe, that maybe this is Alexander. Alexander, I will not murder his babies until you are shot. Nah, he's he's hostile. So baby, but your daddy's gone. I have to find someone else to provide the juicy human meat for you now. Ooh, smoldering shield. I mean, that sounds like it's going to have a lot of fire resistance. Small shield made upon Mount Gelmi, forged from uncooling lava. Resists frost with its heat and can even be used to deal fire damage if wielded as a weapon. Okay, that actually makes, that makes a lot more sense than it being... F giving fire resistance. Things... Yeah, that makes a lot more sense than what I was thinking. Oh, and not in lava, fuck. Oh, that, that almost went horribly wrong. My choice would definitely have been to just run, roll and run away straight away instead of just panicking like I did. Uh, so I feel like this might just be to get back up again, perhaps? So you're not stuck down here? Do you prefer... I do really... I do generally really hate it. You have areas you just you like to jump down to and you can't even get back up again. You have to teleport out. It just feels so unnatural. Unless it is literally meant as like a one-way thing. Get over there at all, okay. So over here and you're back into the city, almost fucked up the jump. And dog has been waiting for me. Uh, I'll just teleport back to the church because I can't. I mean, it's not I was about to say it's not far, but I have to run around like the entire town. Alrighty then, what's inside a big scary room? Inside like a inside the Velda Cathedral, I guess. Is this being nothing on it's a boss store back there, that's for sure. How do I get over there then? Hmm. I mean there's an item up there, so we definitely get back there. Is a boss store on the other No huh? It's a gold skin novel, okay. I need to be careful because this guy has a. if it's anything like the others, he has like a big old fashioned stomp move. Skinny boy? It's a snake? Oh! I never noticed this. I've had a couple of versions of this guy before. I never noticed they have a tail before. Maybe that's just this guy, but I think it'll be roughly the same. The Godskin Stitcher. A noble presence. Ooh, that's actually an occult type of deal. Look at the gold skin stitcher. Sounds like 30. No. It's another heavy thirsting sword. Ooh. Could do away with this in a great epry. Elegant piercing sword with a celeron colored blade wielded by gold skin nobles. The nobles possess skill with a sword unmatched by any lowborn. Despite its size, successive attacks on its weapons are swifter than I can follow. Okay. Uh, 
little bit of taste me uh like oh i saw this serpent amnion i don't know if maybe i fucked up on not getting this before murdering everyone up at the mansion the manor uh went a bit far you should start around here somewhere the actual special items this is a key item right i'm probably just not it's probably just there it is. Oh, there's the Storm Oak King. Why the fuck is that in my key items? Ashes of a Hawk which heeds no summon. Ashes of a Hawk revealed by all others as sovereign back in days when Stormwind winds still raged like no other. This ancient monarch is proud, however, refusing to answer anyone's summon. Is that what I needed to gra take that fucker down in a castle in East Limgrave? I think it is. Amnion from the mother's womb, which cradled the poor unwanted offspring for a repellent birthing ritual. It will never dry out, remaining damp indefinitely. That sounds absolutely lovely. And we got a bunch of like, snakes skin all over the place. Try that and everything. I feel like this is where. Where the guy basically turned himself into a snake. I mean, I don't think that's exactly big brain thinking, you know, figure that out, but still. Yes, I got a back air out here, because I can just. Hmm. Huh. Isn't this a shortcut I unlock later then? Okay. <gasps> that's not a shortcut I unlock later. That's, that's a death drop. Good old death drop. Uh, at least my runes should be close to where I respawn now. Oh, I bet this is what. Uh, I think this is. This was the. Uh, yeah, this was the fog door I saw. Which is why. I th which is why I didn't think this would be a boss room. I mean, it looked like a boss room, but I was like, you know, I saw another boss door further back. So this, this can't. This can't be it. As usual, I was rather wrong. A quick little victory loop around the cathedral. It's gonna be a reasonably safe spot. Okay, look at that. A little golden rune. Oh, almost ran off there. Sometimes the camera is. It really wants to look a specific way, and it just sort of jerks over. Whenever that happens, I'd be at the risk of just falling to your death. So if I want to say it's what a drop down here. I think this should be safe. Okay, I wasn't actually planning on jumping over the, over the edge. I was planning to jump like up on the ledge and just look a bit, a bit of a better look. Um, I guess, yes, my character doesn't do that sort of stuff. Do we bother? I'm just gonna grab the item and just skedaddle. Jump over there, okay. Can we, we can not horse in here? Hmm. 
to all, have to remember to always check behind it. Make sure you don't don't hide something clever in a clever way where you just jump straight over it. Like I get the idea of building your manor close to the volcano, but I feel like building your manor literally as the walls of the volcano is taking it a little bit too far. I feel like that. I feel like the bricks of the manor would ha encounter a bit of problems. That's not even counting how the fuck they even build the walls to begin with. I mean, I have to assume you would have to use some like, like just use some form like damming or something, like when when you build like the pillars of a bridge or something like that. Do something similar, like keep the lava out instead. Run over there. Oh. He was very fucking. He was very fucking aggressive, huh? It's like immediately attacking me just since I dropped down. I was just seeing me coming, like waiting. He's salivating at the thought. Munching some nice, nice here. So this is this just okay? I think that's just climbing back up again. Could I just have? I could just have climbed down, couldn't I? Instead of having like expecting to drop it down. Missionary Cookbook 6, nice. I put another cookbook as well, I believe. Mission. So, Holy Proof Dried Liver and a Luring Pot. Ooh. What's a Luring Pot do? I do need to deliver the death route at some point. Don't forget about that. I feel like the beast shaman is gonna do something spe something special when they give him like all the death routes or something like that. Or this like when he get like a specific amount. Oh, look at these fuckers up getting like lava swords now. Well, I want one of those. I mean, I'm not gonna be using it, but what? What's the topic from wanting one? How do I. If I drop down, how the fuck do I get out of that? Is that a white one? Uh, it looks white, yeah. Eh, getting out is a problem for later, me. Ah, he's so much missing his own. I'd say that wasn't worth it. I mean, it's, I must say not worth it. I don't know where this actually leads to, so it might be. It might not actually have been worth it after all. It just loops back around to basically where I would have gotten anyway. Yeah, just a little bit further along. Ow! Wait, what? What the fuck happened? Are these guys booby trapped? They're fucking booby trapped. 
Neat little bastards. So... A serpent on lava? I'm fucking, I'm fucking playing with firehead, Jesus Christ. Yeah, short to response are cool. Yeah, it's getting a little bit ridiculous. I don't think they utilize shortcuts and the respawn points particularly well in this game. So it's a niche. Wait, did I, I? Yeah, I came up here from over there. Wait, there's just too many times where there's, a, there's just there's no reason to ever. I should like like this like. I mean, I guess, I guess this is a, this actually stops me from having to go all the way around there. So that is actually a useful shortcut. I have a feeling I'm gonna just find another. I'm sorry, what? Hello. I'm kind of expecting just to find another shortcut soon. Soon anyway. Okay, I'll just ease back around here again. Okay. Yeah, I have. I, I do have some problems with levels on. So I kind of wish. So I was watching. I was watching in they play uh I don't know him play Dark Souls Dark Souls. Good good in, great in the streamer or in the streamer, uh the streamer if I recommend checking him out. Um it would like pop out if I was down running along down there. I don't really see any reason to don't see any reason to go down there. I don't fight those snake people. But yeah, anyway, I was watching him. He's playing through Dark Souls, Dark Souls for the first time. So I'm watching him do that, and... One thing I realized that is... I, had, I hadn't thought of that because I currently has been... Is that actually going anywhere? Um... But one... So in... Spoilers for Dark Souls 1, I guess. For anyone, I'm assuming everyone here already knows... I just won pretty well. What the? F I'm, I'm sorry. This guy just creates like a fucking lava area around, around lava field around him. What the fuck am I supposed to be, do about that? But so in that game, you get the ability after a while to warp between bonfires. Sort of like in sort of like well, channel between Grace and this, right? The thing is, you're quite limited in which bonfires you can actually warp to. And I feel that's a much better way of doing it. It's, like they give you... Because... Because it still gives you some reason... Give them some reason to actually do proper levels and put shortcuts and thing in. Because when you can just teleport within any grace at any time... Why would you ever fucking need a need the help need a shortcut? It's very for shortcut to actually be useful, and it also means really all that is for summer smith on six. It also means that like anytime I find a shortcut, I'm I'm not like I'm not say like Dark Souls or Bloodborne or something like that, where I'm like, oh fuck yeah, shortcut, nice. This is so much easier now. And this is like a shortcut. Okay, I guess. It's like a completely different reaction. I'm not gonna bother fighting those guys at all. But this is like the, th this is like the third time I. I should have explored much better down there before, huh? This is the third time I climb up this bloody ladder.
Yeah, shortcuts just feel so unnecessary and meh in this game. I almost just have to, just have almost most of the time just skip the few that I found. It's very few that I found useful at all. I guess now we're back inside the man. I mean, I think that's the door by Pat. That was by Patches. No. Was there a morning by Patch as far as I can remember? No, this is not where Patch was at at all. Um, since you has been completely brutalized by the serpent people, I'm guessing maybe it's trying to turn them into serpent people as well, like turn them into man serpents. Poison stuff is like a part of that process. Oh, stretchy boy. Oh, bitey boy. God. Oh, fuck you, game. Oh, oh the fucking lock on system can go and bite my fucking ass. Love how it fucking unlocked from the enemy when it was doing the biting thing. And was like, oh, you want to lock back on through that enemy? Fuck you. I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna be doing any of that. Uh, make a couple more of those poison things. Uh, there's not really any point in fighting these guys. They don't give, really give me anything. And um, I'm sorry, what? What the f- What the fuck? I mean, okay. Not the fashion I would have gone for, personally. No. Why do you have a fucking teleporter here? I hate these things. No idea where that's gonna put me at. I, mean, I guess I have. I guess I have to use this because yeah, this will prob it's probably like some some optional stuff. Two keys. Okay. What do we get? Oh, this looks kind of awful. Not not gonna lie. Okay, guess we gotta hurry up then so we don't, we don't get caught by that fuck. Um, I'm sorry, where the fuck do I go from here? Stun's where we go, I guess. Shut up, you two. Okay. How dark it is here, it's gonna be easier to just pop out of nowhere. Oh, another seedbed curse. Okay, so you get. M there is more seedbed curse than you need. Um. So I already finished that quest line. Forgetting that the ashes is the other. No, that's the talisman that's the other way. Where the fuck? There they are. 
I don't know why they sorted the news at the bottom. I kind of feel like having the news at the top have been more natural, but okay. Royal Knight's Resolve. Skill of the Knight once served the Elden Lord. Hold flat arm into your face and pledge your soul. Really powering up your next attack. That is, sounds like absolute f at the trash. Not gonna lie. Might be moving me back. This feels like the door to patches. And it is. Wonderful. Um, I kind of wish I'd done this while the place was still full of people. It's kind of feels a little bit weird coming back when the actual manor and the lord of the manor, to, more importantly, is already dead or everyone's, yeah, like just everyone's gone. Well, that was a rather effective way of dealing with that, those people. And that's a corpse that I looted earlier. No particular reason to be that fellow up. I just keep jumping back until it's dead. Oh, uh, that lets me get, grab this thing. Okay. I mean, I like the patch shortcut, but. I mean. I'm just like, what? There's a bunch more stuff up in the rafters there, but I don't know how I get how I get up in that population of it. This just leads back out again, which is all useful. I think this is my previous... Where the fuck is this? Ah, oh, right. Um... Fucking great. I have no idea where this was. Um... Is this still the. Yeah, the shortcut, I think this is the closest, yeah. And didn't I put didn't I put on the map marker? I thought I did. Guess not. I've been getting more runes from this place than I thought. But I I think most of that is from boss though. Snakes give a not half bad amount as well. Oh, I 
I'd have to go through this with these guys again. Like the king, so he's not doing. Oh god, he's not murdering me. I don't think someone's jumping on his throne, right? Just double checking. No. It's not too bad to get back to. I just want to put on a marker there, but I guess I guess not. So I open this. So how the f How the fuck did he get up there? So I should go there as well that I'm unsure how to get to. I jumped on here. If I jump on this, I can't actually jump back up again. Send me don't like your bandy two items over there, but <sighs> don't I have no idea how to like. I think, like, maybe if you like hit the hit those items when you ju hit those cages when you're on top of them, maybe it does something. Not sure. Oh, okay, yeah, so this, this is, the, this is literally just how you get to, to break a record without doing the thing, doing the murdering. That's fine. Okay, so that's, that's like the end goal here. So, it's a lot less, lot less rewarding when you've already killed him. Oh, I didn't know she was here. Um, and he is still kind of alive. Um, are you okay there? Oh, you. Allow me some time. Our Lord's carcass is vast and not easily oh, consumed. Oh, she's not mourning, she's oh eating. God. Please, find purchase within me. I wish to be your serpent, your family. One day... Let us devour the gods together. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. I thought she was like Dear Rikard, trying on his corpse. Day, okay, then I'm just gonna leave you two little low birds alone. Well, that's actually Oh Okay. That teleport actually kinda makes sense because that's this is like almost right underneath there. I guess I don't think she Oh, no, she'll ever actually our Lord's finish. Uh, right, so that was the Volcano Manor then. I think that is pretty much all I can remember that I wanted to do before we move on to like, the ne next area. Um, this one that's first on. Uh, but I think that is 
going to wait. Yeah, this is the correct one, yeah. Just gonna have to wait until next stream. Uh, and I'm almost almost on level up as well. I'm not gonna bother popping in souls for that runes, I don't think. So yeah, definitely getting way towards the end, end now. I honestly I was rather I had more like little stuff left than I th thought I did, but I was also just really surprised at how quickly I managed to beat Melania once I stopped being flustered. Like I just had just was like nice and calm going into the fights. That, def that definitely helped a lot. Now, let us see if there's anyone online I can drop you all off with, though. Um, let's see. Let's see who is on there. Yeah. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to stream, stream tomorrow because I have some stuff I need to get done. Um, I might maybe end up doing... Is maybe like a a bit of a, a bit of a shorter stream? Like it's like maybe I stick like a four hour or something like that instead. Um, well, I feel like if I start playing the, playing this tomorrow, I'm gonna be wanting to try to get to the end as well. So yeah, I'll have to see if I end up streaming or tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna drop you all off with Somniatis, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you everyone for being here. Drop it off with some notice, another say, a great streamer. Um probably doesn't stream too much in my in my time zone anymore, so I can't watch him a whole lot. Uh he's playing some kind of visual novel, I think. But yeah. Have a good night everyone.